Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, a great beer friends and lovers of freedom. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through Radio Biafra London. My name is Demens Mars, Jonathan Chinedu from Alo Province of Biafra Land. Today is the eighth day of December 2022. Before I continue, let me play our national anthem, please. <laughs>
ain't and he stays there omar musa major general omar musa you know they are all paper general he has ordered for shoot at sight in or, or harmful in enugu do you know the reason please i don't know why my my dashboard just turned orange i don't know whether my voice is coming out i think my voice is coming out why should my vo my okay i must continue because my voice is coming out irrespective of my dashboard turning turning orange instead of green it has been green since ever therefore this man the goc omar musa okay okay i'm clear yeah that omar general omar musa that fulani terrorist in 82 division listen to what happened he has ordered for shoot at sight this evening at enugu communities in enugu and the people are being massacred our people innocent people do you know the reason because of what happened the fulani onslaught terrorist onslaught which the 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 champion this man in particular because this man was rejected in every other part of the zoo because they know his record everybody even in lagos in yoruba land they know his record therefore they made sure to make to pursue him even from yoruba land and lo and behold our useless governors they accepted him because they are not working for our interests they accepted this man in our land he used to come with his armada of terrorist gangs terrorists full and terrorists now the slaughtering in enugu our gallant people they now confronted them listen to what happened they confronted them and even captured some of them alive because we are beer friends this man sent another set of troops nigerian troops in order to go and rescue those captured what i'm telling you is what is unfolding and those people that we are being so sent those fulani soldiers that we are being sent they were also you know <laughs> i work with her all oh, suppose they water i work with her, I work with her uh, in a normal way all these things are happening and these people these terrorists we are also overpowered and now this man went basic this man let me tell you the people he's sending these are do, the full and terrorists they are calling bandits they are armed to the teach now this man went to basic and now ordered the whole nigerian military in that community to kill anybody they see because the terrorists he sent i'm not telling you about even uniform terrorists he sent to full and terrorists and uh, you know anything we see in our bush he becomes bush meat two times and this man he went to basic and now he ordered shoot aside now the question there is why is it that this man why is it that whenever the fallen terrorists are killing our people indigenous people everywhere there will be no shoot aside but when they finish and gone this nigerian military will now come and start killing every other person don't you see that there is something terribly wrong don't you see that people are still behaving as if nothing you know everything is okay uh, nothing is okay in our land these governors these politicians in our land are our greatest enemies they are bringing in our enemies 
in order to kill us to take our land i am assuring you of that that is why we should rise up in every ramification in order to make sure that we remain focused so as i was saying because i want to check whether my voice is coming out i don't know all of a sudden my dashboard turns uh, orange which is not normal buffering but my voice is coming out anyway i have no connect the connectivity problem i can i can assure that but we must continue so people should understand what is going on if you are in every part of biafra land any part of biafra land and you think that everything is okay because um oh your side is cool know that we are under siege we are under siege by these fallen terrorists they nickname them bandits they are not bandits they are full and terrorists jihadists that are moving from place to place going with their with the nigerian government because that is what they have sworn to do in order to capture land and give it to those the full and terrorists that they help them into power that is the reality let me play let me play just this clip you for had it but let me play it again or in that same enugu please so many of them from the bush yesterday from the Hamufu forest. So many people yesterday, being 8th December 2020. chairman <laughs> Why the why the Jesus Jesus or the one who you respond that this is that thing? Let me go uncountable number of people in a hamuf about thirteen communities. Let me go and hamuf. Many years ago, the information about the government of Kaji Zab Talo Munna Yani Yogi. Well, is there a web on it? Let me go find out the flag in the future. Nigeria government will send these helots, uncountable number of uh, soldiers, surrounded the Hamuf yesterday, being 8th of December 2022. Do you see how we have become refugees in our land? And you see some people in our land they will tell you no nothing is happening here everything is calm for you to see the selfishness in many of our people in our people in enugu people are being turned into refugees in our own land in our land and the people are not understanding what is happening when they are being confronted by esm the nigerian military now others they come in their numbers in order to start killing everybody that is when these people run run away people abandon their houses they fall and they are walking hand in hand with the fallen do you understand have you forgotten what uh obadai my dr obadai my let dr obadai my love here what he said that they are coming down 
that these terrorists that they are coming down have you forgotten it is what is going on and do you know what our so-called traditional rulers most of them are the ones that are bringing them because of their selfish interests we need to I guys a chapter here honestly we need to we need to you see people that are trying to bring confusion in our people's lives let me tell you you know Mazin Namdekano thank God that he lectured us about propaganda bringing confusion in a war it's not only arms propaganda works heavy just like as they use their agents now to tell you that there are there is a, 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 a seat at home starting from mind that is life from the pit of hell do you know what they are trying to do they are trying to confuse everybody into confusion let me tell you when i listen to the person or one of the people that are upholding this it's not even a biafran the voice i listened and analyzed the voice is not even a biafran i'm telling you honestly the voice looks either bini or yoruba you understand so when you say that the nigerian media is uh, encouraging this sit at home for how many days you know that they are doing it it is them that organize this in order to suffer wicked our people in this year latitude in this uh, christmas period end of the year christmas period don't you know that don't you see that oh, do you need anything to tell you how can you you know hear anything that comes from anywhere apart from radio biafra now you stop believing it how do you think that IPOB we put sit at home for how many days for people to die out of, of hunger how do you think that we the IPOB we start killing slowly people that we are serving can't you uh, why is it that we we love to believe lies why is it that we love to follow shadows how can you think in this December period when people are trying to uh, no matter notwithstanding the, the hardship people are trying to make ends meet and somebody will just come from nowhere and put uh, sit at home for four or five days and you, and you still you still believe it have you forgotten when the Nigerian military they put to sit at home, I think, you know, half year for one month. It's the same thing they are doing. They impose people to die slowly. That is what they are using their agents to do. Please. There is no sit at home. There is never any sit at home. Do you understand? This is a confusion. This is, a, you know, lie. Propaganda from the enemy territory in order to put confusion in our people anything you don't hear on radio biafra please feel that it doesn't exist feel that it doesn't exist how can you be with the lectures of our leader with the structures of ipob now you start listening to another thing but when you carry bible you read the Korah, Detan, and abiram when the Israelis we are being led from uh, Egypt, you you remember the story? All of a sudden, they saw a ship. They started. They used few people, three people, you know, propagated lies that Moses is deceiving them that they don't know where they are going, that they should come back, that they should go back to Egypt, and people started following them people started following these people they don't know from nowhere you remember what happened our people should be careful of listening from anywhere the gossip that come from a they, they take uh, it's a pity i i heard some of our people are talking about radio fm that our people in rural areas they are not yes it's right but how do they hear all this uh, propaganda also 
That is a question. How do they go? You know, they choose to listen to propaganda. If we are not of we that are genuine, IPOB, even in the rural level, uh, are not propagating our gospel and we allow others, the Nigerian government, to propagate their own their own lies and confusion. So seeds of discourse among us. Know that uh, Okafro, I'm telling you, Okafro, when you listen to the Zoo FM radios and you hear that they say sit at home for five days, what do you think? In Zoo radio, there are the people now commanding you, telling you what IPOB says. Instead of IPOB, you won't use the Honestly speaking, listen to this. <laughs> now, why is somebody doing you know, in Finland, Nene, Oda, Sagan Hano, um, government in their side? Then, why did declare your arm struggle? Was that not self determination? Now, if you declare arm struggle, get any business in with with a sit at home. You might sit at home with civil disobedience. Now, each is able and I can't can now go for civility. There is no sit at home. Nothing like a sit at home. I I know that uh, our deputy and uh, members of DOS they will talk about it. They will talk about this. Therefore, we must be above propaganda. The, one of the most potent weapons of warfare is propaganda to sow seeds of discord, to sow confusion in the camp of the enemy. It is highly potent. That is on Kakahajiripia Ubuya Ubuya Ubuya. This is the one they are using now to sow seeds of discord. They will say this. They will say that so that people will become fed up. Don't you know that the plans of the enemy? Or is it everything that we are going to be taught every time we taught A, B, C, A, D, one, two, three, all the time? Can't you reason? Can't you use your tongue to count your teeth? As a dear friend that has been listening to the gospel of Mazen and the Kano to acquire common sense, and all of a sudden you see others coming from nowhere, and you are believing it. What do you? What do you? What do you? What do you expect? If for now, by now, if you say that you are confused, I'm telling you, you are in a pit. You can never be saved again. By now, with all the clarifications and teachings and preachings and lectures and everything that has been coming out from here and other IPOB Media Warrior platforms, And you say that you are and everything that has been coming out from here and other IPOB media warrior platforms. And you say that you
of our people that are disappearing in the north without trace you will not believe it i'm telling you honestly you will never believe it people are living in complete fear fear of any minute and they are they are there they are, <laughs> they are no more we are no more talking of that one what we are seeing now is full and killing us in our own land and the politicians then the governors the evil governors are you know facilitating catalyzing everything that is happening to us why because of their personal interest look at obiano obiano is american citizen he has american passport he has finished and he has gone and he's enjoying for him he's a sharp you know there's a way we see you know is a uh, ipob that opened my i'm the kind of that opened my eye before even i was thinking that we are smart because and that is what we believe oh my the wise and this struggle made me open my eyes i know that in the bible i would the dumbest set of people before god and man yeah i say the dumbest set of people the most stupid set of people i i can i can say it from now to tomorrow without the fear or favor that we are the most stupid set of people before i thought that we are wise we are not we are not yeah i don't want individually when things are planned now nah, as a group we plan something one person will feel that he's smart he will go now uh, now nah, nah, he will go and sell everything and then he go come back and he, that is not smartness that is stupidity that is why we are suffering do you understand that is why we are suffering that is why we are suffering do you know that let me tell you if you reverse the case for example we are the people Ibos, uh, their friends are in power with uh, their headsmen as terrorists terrorizing others let me tell you it is still Igbo people that we go that we go to america and tell the american government that look do you see the sponsors of this thing is our is so 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 person so 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 person so so person i'm telling you honestly sometimes i you know i bow i said before i thought that uh, we are wise but we are the most stupid therefore let me go on just few seconds break so that when i come back i uh, will bring in uh, our deputy vos and the Maze Isaiah Ba in order to take up the podium for the emergency broadcast. Please, please don't go away. I will be right back. Without me, without Africa. Since we met you people 500 years ago, look at us. We've given everything. You are still taking. It's true. I mean, where would the whole Western world be without be without Africa? Our cocoa, our timber, our gold, our diamonds, our platinum, our whatever. Everything you are is us. I am not saying it, it's a fact. And and in, in return for all of this, what have we got? Nothing. Anti-personnel indoctrination against ourselves. If you go and cook your horrible diseases like AIDS, you say it is us. You brought us tuberculosis. We didn't have this big cough until white people came here in exchange for in exchange for africa given europe 500 solid years of our people i mean not europe the western world of our human beings to work your canes to dig your gold 
to take in gold itself. Dime, I mean, you know, fish, peanuts, palm oil, everything. In exchange for that, we have got nothing. Nothing. And you know it. Nothing. And you look upon, you know, white folks look upon us like monkeys. It is true. It's in your literature. Hey, you know, some of your best thinkers have said this about us. Have you heard of the, I mean, all these Germans? Have you heard? Okay. Yes. <laughs> they said, Lord Burton, people like that, they said, we, we, we don't even have the brain of, of animals. That's what we've got from you people. But don't you think that this is over now? Over where? Is it over? Who said that eight came from the green monkey? Is it over? Is it over? Well, if this is your impression, do you think that you can ever forgive us? It's not a question of forgiveness. I have nothing against you. My point is that you did and you are doing for your survival what is necessary. We can't blame you for that. The fact that we are not, we didn't do enough for our own survival and we are still not doing enough for your survi our survival. That is not your problem. You know, even the, even everybody that God has created has a sense of survival. You know, and until we, if we don't develop it, we can't blame white people. You came here because you needed these things. You took gunpowder from the Chinese. You needed them to shoot people. Do you consider AIDS as a new form of colonization? Of course. Why? That's why, <laughs> you know, my people, the Akans, we have a proverb. It says that good morning, thank you, is never enough to sort anybody's food forever. You cannot build your life on thank you, thank you, thank you, morning, thank you, English, thank you, God, you know, which is what aid makes, you know, we are always receiving, receiving, receiving. Nobody, look, and I'm, I, I don't care who hears, nobody anywhere in this world is going to send you their best of anything. Do you see? Neither the experts, nor the, what I mean, people, you give us what you can afford. Aid is the leftover, really, and it cannot be enough. What I mean, hey, you can, when, you know, the world is, uh, now the world is one place. So, there is nothing wrong if my house is in a crisis and you offered me something. There's nothing wrong, you know, because there is interrelationship. But a whole nation, a whole continent cannot live forever on aid. Welcome back. This is Radio Biafra House of Service coming to you through the auspices of Radio Biafra London. Do not forget that today is the eighth day of December 2022. And we are live and direct. Tata Bobochi Orie. Bobochi Orie. Our leader is Mazenam the Kano, who is still in the enemy dungeon, despite being liberated by the Nigerian Court of Appeal. But uh, being a lawless country, being the abode of the caliphate, Fulani caliphate, Fulani terrorists, they don't understand what republic or democracy means but we will you continue pushing on therefore without taking any much time i will bring in my guests or our guests of today in order to take over the podium our deputy hod mazi ogechukutoni nzurumike and Mazi Isaiah Oba, please welcome to the program. You can take over, please. Go on. 
Thank you very much, Mazi. Mazi Jonathan. As usual, we will always appreciate your very good job. And we do continuously. You have remained very tenacious. And you have shown that indeed you are a, a, a true born of the soil. And um, and with your, your work and what you do for dear friends, um, you have contributed immensely, of course, that we have come this far. Everybody's work is very, very important. Take it all, I appreciate you very, very, very much. And just like your colleagues, all of you in the media, the media warriors, all of you, you've been doing very, very fantastically well. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. And uh, once again, my name is Mazin Um I have come in the capacity as the deputy head of the Rectorate of State by the grace of Chukwu Kaibiyama. Of course, a servant, common, a common servant of the people, of course. And I have come along with me, uh, the deputy European rep, Mazi um, Azai Obam, of course, um, who is right now also on the platform. Uh, we have come because there is a need for us to drive home a very, very truthful narrative um, I a counter narrative against um, that of those of the troublemakers, the maniacs who are infested everywhere in the land, trying to destroy our land more. And we have come to debunk and have come to inform our people properly. That is why uh, we use opportunity to go further to thank Chukwe Kabiyama for being our God and our Lord and our Savior. We thank him even in midst of trouble, even in midst of despair, even in midst of loss of hope, even in midst of crisis like this. In this very precarious situation, we will give him nevertheless all the glory and all the honor and all the praises for being our God, Chukwaka Biyama. We thank him for the life of Onye Dumas and Namde Kano. We thank him because uh, he has kept our leader and he will continue to keep our leader. He is keeping him because he sent him to come. He sent him to come on a mission and that mission must be accomplished. Unless the mission is accomplished, Mazen Namdekano will remain. He will remain strong and doing what he needs to do. And, um, and that is to ask for the freedom of his people. When Moses came out to ask for the freedom of his people, he was supported by Chukwu Kaibiam, and he was sent by Chukwu Kaibiam to do so. Just like today, our leader, Mazinam de Kano, has been sent by Chukwu Kaibiam. It was all spiritual. He began, unless you have not heard him explain how he came, he was sent from heaven. And we all believe it, and we all see it. And if you, have, if you don't know that, you better believe it. You better believe it and you can see all the handwritings on the wall and that is why no enemy whatsoever born of a woman can harm him because he may be in the carnal body but he is spiritually very 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 strong and that is why we thank god for him and thank god for his life we thank god for his accomplishment so far because what is happening in our land today was um, his own prophecy. He, he said it battle, word for word, line by line, clause by clause, as to what is to come. He made it clear that we we'll pay heed, but our people would not listen. Our people were carried away by their complacency. Nevertheless, greetings to all of you, dear friends, who are listening from all corners of the world, irrespective or irrespective of where you are domiciled. If you're in Biafra land, we appreciate you. If you're in the Northern Hemisphere, Western and East, we do appreciate you equally. And we ask you to remain tuned and keep listening that we are here on Radio Biafra, exactly where we worship together. Here, we, here is the platform where we say the truth. Here is the, the hallowed platform with the holy microphone from heaven that whatever we say here is the way it is. That whatever we say here is an is unadulterated truth. And as Onyendu will say, whiter than white and whiter than snow. And that is the way we spell it here. It is an unfortunate situation 
we have experienced and we keep experiencing in our land we all remember how all these things started we remember how all everything began we cannot continue to ponder over what is happening without mentioning those of them who abetted the enemies those of them who encouraged and emboldened the enemies which are still the governors we do they have spoiled they have destroyed but we still ask them the best thing they can do today is to go back and correct and make their corrections in their own interest they went out there they pronounced ipob and prescribed ipob the way they did very very illegally they did they went ahead according to their own agreement without any court injunction without any procedure legal procedure they went ahead and they prescribed ipob and whoever hears it outside the zoo thinks that somehow we are indeed prescribed and then we are not in the real sense of it we are not because the due process was not full but the narrative has been sold very very badly that somehow we are a prescribed people how can you prescribe a people how can you prescribe a whole people and go to can you go to germany and say all of you germans you are prescribed can you go to america and say you americans you are all prescribed will you say the same thing to russians will you say the same, the same thing to spanish people you cannot prescribe people we are the indigenous people of the africa and how dare you have the audacity to say somehow we are prescribed we are not just an organization we are a, a people that is why when we speak on radio biafra it affects everybody the efficacy we display touches every nooks and cranny that all people who are biafrans and who feel their biafrans and say their biafrans feel well interwoven in every step of the way and that is why it is very very important to make it clear that we are a people and not just an organization and that is why they got it wrong the governors must go back and readdress what they did they must do so very very important the reason why you have idiots and criminals like tony blair going up and down and crisscrossing the whole hemispheres meeting and coordinating all, all his uh, sinfulness and evil against biafra which is all so-called allies what they are doing is to make sure that somehow they pin us down and they are, they are capitalizing on that very prescription that is what they're capitalizing upon but we are biafrans we will educate them we will let them know that there is nothing like that there is nothing like that you should go and ask the zoo we have defeated the zoo very, very important because everything we do we let it blare we let every we let everything bear with every evidence that we have in our custody and that is why we are telling them it is very very important uh, tony blair and his um, cohorts who have to go back to the drawing board and when they go back to the drawing board what they will see there is genocide that he tony blair and his people his countrymen were behind the death of one, 10 million people 10 million people not one not two not three not even five what i'm saying was um, out of uh, revelation it was a revelation by the white people who actually put the whole data together these are the data i saw one in germany Maze, as I about will tell you what he saw in Ireland. These are, the, you know, these people they like to hide information, and they think somehow will not come across those hidden information. They killed us up to ten million people. We were told that our people were slaughtered and we were decimated, and that was because it was a third world war. Nobody wants to call it the way it is. There was a third world war and it happened in Biafra land. We had the Soviet Union who said if we don't want it their own way, they will join the coalition of killers against us and that's what they did. And who are those pioneers? Who are those actually heading that very, that very uh, coali coalition? That was the Britain. Harold Wilson, he was the head of state of United Kingdom as at that time. 
the prime minister. Tony Blair should go and read his history. And after reading his history, he should bury his, his head in, into the sand in shame for him to have even the audacity to come very close to mention IPOB. Before you mention IPOB, find the history connected to your history, to your atrocities, connected to what you did to these people and why they're acting for common freedom and the, the right to self-determination. Why should that be a crime? Why should that be a crime, Tony Blair? We know you are jobless. We know since you you finish your job as prime minister, you've got nothing doing. And all left for you is to keep on scavenging everywhere, looking for where you can find something. Crumbles that are falling from the from the table. That is why you people have resorted to criminality. You are pifering our oil and gas and resources in the high sea. We know that I said it in the other broadcast today. That's what people are doing. And you somehow you think we're impediments in that, that very direction. We are not any, you know, opposing any sort of impediment, you know. We have said, come clear as a civilized people. We are France are civilized. And we can talk, we can negotiate. We can discuss, we can dialogue. We are not monolithic. We are always revolving. And that is why the opportunity is there to do the right thing instead of doing the wrong thing. What Tony Blair is doing today is totally wrong. We can discuss, we can dialogue. We are not monolithic. We are always revolving. And that is why the opportunity is there to do the right thing instead of doing the wrong thing. What Tony Blair is doing today is totally wrong. It's atrocities in our land, those of them championing the killing and maiming and, um, you know, destruction of lives and properties. Those people are well known. Those people are the people you are backing. Those are the cabals. Those are the Fulani Caliphate. Those are their foot soldiers on the ground in Biafra land. Ask them, who, what are the Fulani herdsmen doing in our land? Ask Tony Blair, ask your, 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 your cohorts in, uh, um, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, Abuja, uh, Asorok. What are their boys doing in our, in our land? What are they doing there? They don't live there officially. They have not come to look for jobs. After all, we don't have jobs. They have destroyed our lives and livelihood. We have no job. Industries are all crumbled and there is nothing left. So what have they come to do? We are no more buying their cows. And what are they coming to do? Why are they in our land in droves? Why are they found in the bushes? These are the questions you must ask Tony Blair and not to rise up against holy people who are just after their freedom. We are asking you to please uh, readdress your steps. Very, very important that you do so. Very, very important. Otherwise, who will disgrace you? We are going to pull your legs out in the public. That the whole world may see. We have Africans. We can do so. That the whole world may see the, the traces of atrocities of Britain. We have been doing it in a place where probably it hasn't, you know, you have not felt it. But this time around, you, you may have to do it in a way that you will indeed understand that these people know what they're doing. And we're going to show it to you. We are going to show it to you by unveiling and revealing all the atrocities of the United Kingdom against these very hollow people of Biafra and bring it more in the open, especially in with your own connection. You will be connected to it because you have come, you have brought out yourself against these very, very, you know, peaceful people of indigenous people of Biafra and we are not going to accept it. We are not going to accept it, Tony Blair. And that is why we have come. We have come also to also explain to Biafrans that there is a lot of things we have. Everybody understands that. Everybody understands we are in danger. Um, but I want us to understand that it's not just any other danger. The danger is rape. The killings continue. And you keep on seeing the continue. What they have done is they brought in their, their killer general. What they, I don't know his name again in Enugu, I think, where he's positioned. The news reaching us is that, Mazi, you, you know the name Mazi? Musa Omar. Musa Omar. Yeah. Musa Omar is their evil gen, uh, general killer, they call him. 
General Keller goes about asking his foot soldiers, the Hizba group and the Boko Haram, uh, you know, uh, section of the military, you know, when you come to military, they have their own uh, department, different department. They have Boko Haram uh, battalion and they have Hizba battalion and they have Fulani, Fulani, uh, Hesmen battalion. These people are all in uniform. When you see them, you think they're ordinary soldiers. That is why we have issues with our governors. They are there to, pre to prevent all these atrocities in the real sense of it. Their job is to protect lives and properties. And they are not doing so, but enabling this very carnage to continue. And we are calling on Biafrans across the whole world in all walks of life to stand up and stand tall and stand very, very firm and demand that these so-called governors do the right thing. If any Kekena Pepe driver is gone down somewhere in any part of Biafra, like it doesn't really matter whether it is the, the state you are governing or not. If you are governor of uh, Abia State and it's happening in Ebony, if somebody is knocked down by Fulani headsmen or the military or the police or whatever in Anambra State, in Enugu State, in Imo State, and it's not your state, do not feel unconcerned. It's your job to stand up and pick up the microphone and condemn it. And if you're not condemning it, it means you don't care. It means you are you are culpable of what is going on. It means you sanction what is going on. Your people are the reason why there was Python dance that claimed thousands of lives. It was Python dance one and two, and I think even three or whatever they call it, the last, the third one. And today, Hopeless Odinjo has won that he is hungry for power and that nobody can take it from him. So if nobody can take you, even if it takes the lives of one million Biafans, he doesn't care, they should all die. When the Mary Willie Obiano was there, we heard him saying that the, the, the word of life of a Biafran is that of a cow. And he told the Fulani people, if you kill one, it's equivalent of cow, you have to pay 500,000. This is what a human being said. I don't even want to call him governor. It's just, it's just, um, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. And these are the people you call governors. They are the ones who have caused these problems we have today. Because we have to go to the root of all these issues. We must go to the root of all these issues. We want them to get back to normal normalcy. We want them to go back to normal thinking. They still have opportunity to think right. They do. They do have the opportunity to call upon the 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 the, the cabal in Asurok to release Onye Duma Azunam the camp. They, you are not supposed to go to bed and sleep until Nam the Colonel is out. That is the way it's supposed to be. These people are not supposed to take breakfast in their government palaces. They are not supposed to even have a, any lunch in their government palaces. They should be having a restless life until they see that our leader, Mazinam Khan, is released from the hands of these very, very terrorists called the Kabar. This is what, they, if they are normal human beings, this is what they should have done. And what I'm saying is that they still have opportunity to do so. They have the opportunity to turn the page and ensure that this is done. It's not going to be a difficult task. I know they feel that they have the powers to kill. But when you think you have the power to kill, you have to also calculate how many, how long do you still have to live on earth. You also have to factor in that you have children. You should also factor in that you have families and relatives everywhere in, in the world, and none of them is living in Jupiter. They are all living on Earth. So you have the opportunity to get it right. All of you, both ex-governors and present governors, it cannot be that you people are there and the, the, this, this coalition of killers are everywhere in our land, destroying lives and properties, and you cannot do anything, you have to be called out. Because when you say there's insecurity and begin to put, point fingers at others, the others are pointing at you, yes, definitely. Because your people were the pioneers of this killing spree. You started it. By thinking that your servitude to the 
uh, Fulani Caliphate somehow will bring you prosperity. Of course, you people are selfish. It's all about what you're going to get and not what your people will get. And now you are there before your eyes. They destroyed all our economic uh, uh, infrastructure, economic abilities and facets. And today you have nothing to, you know, afford your people. And then you are claiming that it's insecurity. And of course, we will also call out all those of them who are in coalition with these governors by way of, um, you know, uh, uh, initiating all these criminalities. This is how all the, when they sit down there and point figures at some, somehow, you know, roadside, um, uh, you know, uh, 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 criminals, you know, uh, parading the streets of Biafra land somehow, that these people are the, now the main cause of the criminality. No, it started with the governors. They enabled the Fulanis in our land. They brought in Python tanks one, two, three, four, or whatever. Because the killing continues. So you can even mention, I don't know how many the Python tanks you can call. They keep on killing us and continue to kill us unabated. And that must stop. Unless these governors change their characters, they must also re, you know, rewrite what they wrote. They went there, they prescribed, and we're asking them to go and turn back to that prescription. That prescription was illegal. Uh, that too, they can do uh, well. If they have done wrong in that, they can do it well again. They still have the opportunity unless they don't want to. We will continue to point them out that we have we have the coalition among the coalition. Also, the so-called, um, like I mentioned this afternoon, a very uh, uh, de facto government. The, Biafra, the de facto government in Biafra land is behind a lot of killings we have these days. They have been assigned by the Fulani Caliphate to, and they have been armed, by the way. A militia has been built and headed by Sasari Dokubo. That is why Asari was threatening our people all the while, that he's going to kill them. He was not saying it in menacing words. You saw him displaying the military, you know, weaponry. He displayed them with every pride in him. Among his militias, they have the zoo badge, green, white, green. This is somebody who called himself the president of the facto government of Biafra. And his spokesman, among them, I suppose, be Mazi Mefo. His information minister is Mazi Mefo. I must say the way it is. He is the spokesperson of that very de facto government. Now I'm asking Mazi Mefo, who is driving the so called the human rights uh, 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 organization or platform. The man heading and heading that very platform is Mazi Mefo. And I'm saying, how do you square in your de facto government? and the, the the militia activities you have that are killing our people with your human humanitarian activities it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't tally it doesn't tally at all and that is why we must also hold you responsible just like you have in the past been trying to tarnish the image of ipob even when we have been very very peaceful and you know that you have now before your eyes as i about displaying his militia against Igbo brothers and we thank god not all Ijaws are into that very game a lot of Ijaws are peaceful and very friendly they are biafras but this guy because of what he's going to gain from the full and caliphate single-handedly brought out himself and formed up a, mil a militia group he himself said it that that militia group involves Fulani men and Hausa men, according to him, he's in his own words. Uh, what what are they doing? Are they there? Are they, are they, are they going to go after the Fulani fellow uh, Ijo clan? No. Are they going after the the Yorubas? Of course not. But he used his mouth to say he's going to kill IPOB members. He said he's going to go after Igbos. And people should ask and take this very very militia very very serious. They they come in. And
Here is the, the hallowed platform with the holy microphone from heaven. Sneaking to get from the I question many of any of these properties in our land. The carnage that you are causing in our land is not going to be taken lightly by these very indigenous people of Biafra. We are not going to take it no more. We are no longer going to take it the way it is going. And that is why we are calling Biafrans on the, in the ground, in Biafra land, and in diaspora especially those of you on the ground to be remain to remain more alert more vigilant and be ready to defend yourself among those of you also who have found themselves in that very coalition of um, destruction of lives and properties is a very much you have one hoodlum in finland that all he can do is to scam people and uh, gather his boys on the ground to cause mayhem destroy lives and properties equally because he is on a pay a paycheck and a pay book of the of malami malami has assigned him to do that job because um, because uh, for the mother and a pay book of the of malami malami has assigned him to do that job because um, because uh, for the Madu guy, the very hoodlum, the bandit in Finland, is he find in Joko, that all he does is to cause incendiary. He's very pyromaniac. What he does is to put killers together. Young boys who are supposed to go to school, some of them who probably need to go and learn jobs and learn how to do something needful and meaningful for themselves. They are bamboozled into becoming morons on the street and um, becoming useless to themselves and continue to kill others. And we are saying to all of you, if you get any of them spreading any flyer or poster anywhere in Biafra land, that somehow that's a seat at home. I, I, we are in on this very platform, on this very platform, Radio Biafra. We are asking anybody that sees these people to go after them. Do not spare them. Go after them and stop them from doing that thing they are doing. There is nothing like sit at home this time around. This December, you are going to have your merriments. You are going to work hard for your families. You are going to bring bread to your families on the table. And no matter how little it is, you are going to manage it happily in the name of Chukwa Abiyam, and not to see and cause the death of your brethren. That is not what IPOB subscribe to. We do not subscribe to destruction of lives and properties. Instead, we condemn them. And we know that the very, very intention behind this so-called uh, sit at home is to cause mayhem, it is called to cause carnage, and to destroy, destroy lives and properties. And we say no to that. There is nothing like that. If you are in Biafra land, please always listen to Radio Biafra at all times. Do not listen to any online nonsense that you see out there. On Radio Biafra is get your information. If you hear something, please get it confirmed on Radio Biafra. And here we tell you the way it is. This is the platform put together by Union Dumas.
why in our language we say mado mando mando beauty of life that is that is where we come from and that is that's exactly who we are all this violence going up and down here and there uh, has no place in our dna we feel irritated seeing blood and those of you who suck blood the blood suckers of the uh, of uh, of the full caliphate you don't feel the way we feel and that is why we are not one people and we can never be we can never be and that is why we are asking for our freedom we will continue to ask for this freedom non-stop non-stop we will continue to ask for this very freedom non-stop and we are asking all lovers of freedom all over the world to support this very very project the project that somehow we have the right to self-determination a project that calls for freedom of all Biafrans in all walks of life and i don't see anything wrong in calling for freedom only those of you who are evil will only rise up and say no those of you who will say no definitely you are evil and um, the main the main reason why we're here today is like i said there is no sit at home as proclaimed from some morons somewhere in finland it, it can never happen it will not hold and it can never come to stay we are calling on governors to do more those of you who are the governors of the enugu state to do more those of you in anambra especially the the fulani governor in Imo state to stop the killings going on against our people you keep killing and killing and killing and think somehow you kill your way out of the whole crisis and that is wrong we have I've explained to you that you have families you have children you have relatives you have homes just like those of them you have wasted their lives it is time you stand up like men at least like boys at least if you cannot be men be boys but sometimes boys can speak boys can stand up and say something if you cannot be men be like boys at least it is disgraceful that somebody will call himself a man when somehow he's void of testis you don't have any testis you can't call yourself a man you needed to call yourself a man you have to grow one grow one and be a man you should be ashamed that one single soul at some point is killed in your land in your so-called state you should be ashamed of yourself of yourself that you can't even take up the microphone in your podium the microphone in your podium you find in your offices in the government houses and take one second and condemn that very killing whether the killing was orchestrated by, by any military man any policeman any full animal condemn it first and foremost even if you do nothing more beyond that condemn it condemn it it, it gives it gives some psychological psychological um, uh, ripple effect if you don't know it is very very important that you do so but you governors like i said you have not grown testes and that is the problem but maybe somehow somewhere in future you may do so but then it will be too late for you because you will rule and rule and rule and then somehow you will vacate and then po the posterity can never be kind to you no more you can only find your way for a better future if you have all corrected and made peace with those you have been killing unless you do so even you governors will be in trouble that is just the nature so i will go on also to call upon our members the united states of america to please uh, begin to look into the possibility of um engaging much more very intensively with the white house we do want them to engage intensively with the white house and they should plan a very very strong protest in washington dc those of you united states of america who believe in freedom 
Those of you who see the bloodshed in Biafra land and you don't like, those of you who find those, all these atrocities very despicable, we want you to join hands together and forces together and march in the streets and the town of Washington, D.C., and practically engage the politicians at the Capitol. This is very, very key in case you want to call yourself a freedom fighter. This is something you have to do. It might not be, uh, it might not be very easy, but it's also not so tough uh, for you to accomplish. The leadership would like you to engage uh, in this very, very important uh, project going forward. Uh, Mazi, at this juncture, I would like to bring in Mazi um, as Zayoba as well to also um, have some some few things to tell Biafrans, and then of course we shall entertain some number of uh, of uh, uh, questions in case there are some questions from Biafrans, um, a few calls and all that, and then we'll see where we can uh, how how far we can address such questions. Um, I will at this juncture. I want um, to hand over the microphone uh, to my brother and the uh, great servant in this very uh, hallowed movement, Mahazi Azayoba, to also uh, come up and address Biafran um, as um, much as he can. Mahazi, go ahead. I give you microphone, and uh, I will yield back until later. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, Deputy Head of Directorate. Thank you very much, and uh, also thank you uh, our host, Mazi Jonathan Chinedu. I want to appreciate both of you, and uh, thank you all. I want to also uh, read Biafrans worldwide, Biafrans worldwide, and also uh, Biafrans back home, uh, those who we are fighting so hard to... Uh, uh, protect uh, to do whatever we can uh, to bring your suffering and your penury to the attention of the world because uh, our race look like a, a race that has been forgotten and uh, we have uh, make our decision to uh, make sure that that will not happen the way the enemy orchestrated it my name remains Maze Zayuba by the special grace of uh, I am serving the indigenous people of Biafra in the capacity of deputy European rep and a member of the retreat. I reside here in the Republic of Ireland at the moment and I'm bringing you greetings from here. Uh, Biafrans, uh, of course, uh, I will not hesitate before uh, going into one or two things that I want to say this evening. Uh, I want to sincerely, sincerely from the bottom less heart of my heart uh, to appreciate our leader, Mazen Namdiz Kano, who has uh, chose to answer this uh, difficult, you know, uh, call from almighty Chukuki Kabiyama himself. And uh, because I know for sure uh, in the in the eyes of men, uh, I don't think um, he could have done this uh, by himself. If not, uh, that the Chuko Kikabiyama have called him to do this, including some of us, uh, because what we have encountered in this uh, process of Biafra restoration uh, is something that uh, we are not uh, actually told that this is how it's gonna be. But regardless, we are not going to back down because we are fighting a fight for survival. I want to really, really appreciate him, appreciate his wife for hanging in there, taking out this, you know, stress, uh, you know, since she got married to uh, our leader. Uh, we know that the history has it that um, there's never a time they have a quality time together, uh, just uh, because of the freedom of uh, his own people. Uh, we appreciate you, Mazi, uh, our leader, Mazi Namdekano, and our sister, Lord Luchi Chukukano. We appreciate you. And um, those that are working hard, uh, very close to him. The head of the Letters, Matt Chikedusim, 
uh, keep on the good work and also all the rest member of the retreat of state including Mazaba Anim, who I am deputizing uh, I want to appreciate all of you now good evening from here uh, dear friends worldwide um, one thing I want to say this evening uh, is just um, about uh, the you know fake news that is uh, making around Biafra land and uh, I want to our people to understand that we are in a very precarious situation at the critical time that we need to pay attention to every details that are being presented to us whether from the enemy whether from those that are working closely with the enemy and those who are also the household enemy which are more dangerous you know i have said this before ipob uh, before even when onion was around uh, ipob was invaded you know there we saw a surge of people coming into ipob and people were there before the time lying really you know quiet some of them uh make some attempt to get to the you know close to the leadership For any hierarchy officer they want to come close to them to obtain position and uh, a strike from within uh, so it's only now that this thing happened uh, we begin to uh, unravel and to decode most of those uh, agents that come very close to us uh, including those that um, you know took our money and then they run and uh, keep making excuses that uh, they will release it only when our leader is uh, being released now if these people are holding all this and saying that uh, you can only release the finance of ipob when our leader is released or you will only support when our leader is released then how do you want us to execute you know some uh, some assignments or the process uh, getting onion to release you see that these people came to destroy not to build and these are people who were not even there when ipob started when ipob were uh, actually established uh, they just joined organization instead of some of them to um, leave organization if they don't like how it's being run or if they have some feelings that they are not comfortable with uh they decided to run away with some of the ipod properties but in coming days if they refuse we're gonna expose few of them uh, uh now uh going uh, also to them the 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 seat at home um biafans you understand that seat at home was introduced as one of our many strategies that we have on board uh, to bring about Biafra. It's just one, just one out of thousands of them that the leadership and the onion do himself uh, put in place to bring about Biafra. And now, what the enemy have tried to do in the last couple of few months is to corrupt this uh, one of these tools that we have. Um, our people need to pay attention and I, I want them to listen to me very, very carefully this evening what I'm going to say. Very, very carefully. Our, our people need to understand the strategies of the enemy. They need to know this. This is it at home. You should ask why the enemy enemy are so interested in sit at home tools that IPOB uh, you know have in place to as one of their tools they are using uh, in 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 Biafra restoration process they want to do what to corrupt it to make it look very stupid i have said this few months ago and i'm saying it once again in case people who do not listen to that these things they are doing is to make you to hate this uh, material that we have that is called sit at home they want you to detect it they want you to hate ipob they want to cause confusion and rancor between the bear fans so that you will hate anything that has to do with ipob they want to make it look like you talking about biafra talking about ipob talking about sit at home means that that is where they are turning this to so that you will hate when you hear ipob one when you hear madden and can two you when you hear uh, biafra restoration three when you hear esn when you hear uh, sit at home these people have choose to be attacking this major institute institute 
that have been put in place to restore Biafra. And we are talking with a low voice tonight that everybody that is listening in Biafra land will understand what we are doing. Sit at home can only be used when it's necessary to achieve one or two things that we have in plan, not the whole thing. That is why Sit at home was introduced in the first place. And the first one that was used was during May 30th. That was the only first time Sit at home was introduced. The first time it came in place in IPOB, the Afro Restoration Movement, May 30th. And uh, some other subsequent, you know, period that was needed, that sit at home, and we actually used it. Onion also activated it when it's necessary. Now, the question I want dear fans to, to ask those who are asking for sit at home right now: We are there? Are they member of IPOB? The answer is no. Are they the leader of the movement? The answer is no. Who, what is their cabinet? They don't have cabinet. What is their portfolio? They don't have portfolio. Were they registered anywhere in the world? The answer is no. What are their members of their cabinet? You don't know. Now they are asking you sit at home. If anything happens sit at, uh, that day, uh, within these days that they mentioned, who do you hold accountable? They will now say this IPOB. Do you see how they roll? They want to use this particular day that they announced to cause more disaffection, destruction, rape, and the burning of houses. And once you see it sit at home in future, once you hear about sit at home in future, then you'll be considering it. It is this one, isn't it? This one that we had a few days ago, that uh, uh, last few months ago, that have caused death, that has caused more destruction. The issue they want to demonize anything that has to do with IPOB. This is where they are working. They want to demonize anything that has to do with Biafra restoration. They want to destroy everything. And what would they have for you? Nothing. We are using this opportunity to let you know there is nothing like sit at home on the 9th, 10th, 11th, and 12th, and up to the time they told you. Because there, there is no reason for it now, now at this very moment. There is no reason for it. There is no reason for it. And it's not necessary right now, as I have said before, that the seat at home can only be used when it's necessary or can be activated when it's necessary by the leadership, by the EPS leader himself, Mazen Namde Khan. Apart from that, nobody else has right to be instituting nuisance that they will call sit at home. They will use to destroy our people. And now, at this critical time, that all countries, industries, companies are importing, bringing goods for the season. This is the time that these people want you to lock your businesses for five days, including Sunday. Mazen Namde never Mazen Namde Kano never want to add anything to interrupt our people going to church on Sunday. And what is the interest of this bingo? Introducing sit at home that will affect our people going to church on Sunday. In as much in as much as we know what we you know religion has done to us. We are only educating our people to know the difference between good and bad, what is obtainable for their for for better future, and what is of, uh, uh, what is not good for them. This is what we're educating our people. These enemies that invaded IPO in the last, you know, thirteen or fourteen months now, kidnapped our leader. Yeah. I isolated our leader, kidnapped him, renditioned him, tortured him, now begin to attack the leadership of IPOP, begin to attack the structure, begin to attack the finance, begin to attack the, the wife of our leader, begin to attack our leader himself, begin to attack his uh, family members. The question is, who are they? 
and what are their intentions. The same moron, the same, this guy, I called him a chronic pervert that is answering Ifan in Joko here. We told him that there will be no hiding place for him. By the time we finish with that criminal that is based in Finland, people will reject answering. His name will become like a Ifajuna. And I'm not surprised that he's answering Ifan in Joko. We have discovered that now. That he, his real name here is Ifan in Joko. This is a man that took the nude picture, the naked picture of an evil woman and posted to the public. An evil mother, a woman that is married, a woman that has children. This guy with no any empathy, no, no, he, he claims to be a lawyer. I have never ever in my life seen any legal mind or any legal practitioner that behave in the manner in a in a in a so much low life this criminal that based in Finland is behaving. I've never seen that in my life. We live in the Western world here. Deputy head of the retirate can confirm what I'm saying to you. Even ordinary person cannot behave. Ordinary person that uh, studied very well here cannot behave in the manner that this bingo is behaving, claiming that he's a lawyer, and nobody now has asked him, where is your law certificate? The everything about this guy is fraud, killing, diabolic. Everything about him. He will defraud our people. The people who claim that they educated in America will send money to this small boy. He will eat it. He will come on the tele, on the radio on a on a on a camera. He will turn it on. He will bring wine. He will pour it in a cup. He will dance. And some only some people who claim that they are educated, some people who claim that they are uh, uh, professors, will now clap for him. Said, "Well done, right on. You are doing a great job." He's the only one making noise, doing something for our leader to come out. And the same person come out in the open and said that we will not listen to any man or any person that is speaking from DSL dungeon. And who is the person in DSL dungeon? The same person now is, is grouping gangs of criminals terrorizing our land in the name of sitting at home. Force at home he's doing. Terrorizing our people. Killing young youth. And the so-called Igbo learned people are watching this moron doing this. Contributing and sending money to him. Doing fundraising. Just to demonize. Even doing the fundraising also to pollute the fundraising that IPOB also do to raise money to support our people that Nigerian security men and uh, military men that have killed their family members. They want to destroy that angle as well. So anytime you hear fundraising, you will be thinking that your mind will go to the same pollution, the same damage this idiot has caused. So you will not feel interest to do or to support or to do any fundraising for for the real cause. This is what he's doing. The same thing now he's doing with the sit at home. He want to damage it. Anytime you hear sit at home, you will say no. Isn't it this thing that they are every time sit at home, sit at home? We had protests in Europe here. We went to America. We had protests. We go to uh, UK, we had protest. We are meeting people that matters. And who is he meeting? Every time he will turn on the camera, sit somewhere in a rented hotel lobby and be making video, telling you nonsense, 
sending our young men, our young youth to early grave. And uh, our elders are sitting at home looking at this, saying nothing. I want to correct our people this time. I want to give them advice of what they don't know, what they have ignored all these years. If they will listen. Mazen Nam Dekano have built IPOB, established IPOB after Igbo Union failed our people, failed our race. Everybody knows why Igbo Union was formed, why Ohanes and Igbo was formed to be able to assemble our people during and after the war and bring our people together once again. But they have failed in that in that particular you know area. And now the aftermath of that, that disappointment is very, very devastating. And we can see the carnage it has caused among the Igbo race, if you like, or the Biafans. Since then, after the war, we have never ever seen any other set of group that have been speaking on our behalf or that can bring the plight of what is happening to us as a race anywhere in this world why am i saying this go to germany we we'll see our Igbo young youth in prison go to asia you will see our Igbo young men in prison Go to um, uh, America, you see our Igbo young men in, in prison. Come to Europe here, go to Africa, all the prisons, even in Nigeria. And there is no single organization of beer fans that is asking the well being of our people anywhere they are being held. The only organization that is doing that is IPOB. Mazen Nam Dekano made this to happen. We have been looking after our people both home and abroad. And I asked this question on Rapture Media a few days yesterday. If the Easterners, if you like, or the Biafrans, or the Jaws, let's ask we the Igbos, when I use Igbo, is general from our mainland to the coastal region of Biafra. Land. If that we are asked now to send the delegates to America, to White House, or to Number 10 Downing Street, would they be able to do that? They won't, because they have betrayed themselves. Yoruba will be able to assemble their men, their credible men, and send. Hausa will mobilize their own, they will send. Fulanese will mobilize their own. They will send, but if you come to the east, there will be there won't be anyone. And that is one of the reasons that you haven't seen anybody from the east run after the government successfully without any sabotage. It's only IPOB that have managed to do this, led by Mazen Namdekan. And we're educating our people that frustration, this mental torture that this our political elites have put us need to stop now. And this is what Mazen Namdekano have managed to establish. And this is what they are fighting right now to destroy. When our people have, when our political elite failed us, Mazen Namdekano came up on board. We are the one that will hear any evil child suffering anywhere, we will go after them and look for them. In Europe here, if they are running for from political asylum, we will support them, we will give them every document that they will need to protect them here, anywhere they found themselves here in Europe. And also outside Europe. No other organization have done this. No other. The idiot in Finland has not done that. Rather, the idiots have caused, have defrauded our people who are vulnerable who are running for safety he defrauded them we have the evidence here we have evidence we have documents that prove the people that give money our people our poor people that gave money to this boy in finland 
He promised them visa and everything. He defrauded them. And this is the the guy, the same guy who took the nude, to the naked picture of an Igbo woman. Something even Fulanis have not done. Do it and post all over the social media. And I'm asking our people, if that guy were to be in IPOB when he did that, we are to be in the leadership when he did that. Today, IPOB would have been deserted by the whole world. The respect our establishment with the government and locals in, in the Western world here would have been destroyed because no government would like to do with the, would like to have anything to do with a pervert who is sharing a nude picture of a, 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 a mother, somebody's wife. And people are going to his platform, listening, watching him. Watching him. It's very, very sad. And he's there now telling you to sit at sit 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 at home for six days. And what is his reason? Is he supporting an Nandi Khan? The same Nandi Khan he was abusing through the, his platform? The same wife, his wife that he was abusing, his, the same IPOB Biafra, he was calling terrorists. This boy was telling Azale Dokubo to kill IPOB that they are terrorists. This, 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 this same boy that is calling sit at home today was saying indigenous people of Biafra are terrorists. And uh, people are not asking who, who is the person issuing this order or asking you to sit at home? Where is he from? What is his, who knows him? What is his position? The Suriname here is in joke. Asking if I'm in joke. The answer is if I'm in joke. And this is what we are telling our people. How can Mazen Namde Kano spend all these years preaching to you, educating you? In less than 12 months, in just not even what to do, in less than eight days, he was kidnapped. You all of you turn against him. Stand on him. And look at what is happening in Yafra land now. Since Mazen Namde Kano, we are kidnapped. Mazen Namde Kano managed to stop the killing, the raping of our women in the farm. It was, it, it, it was like, it, it was spreading like a white fire. Until Mazen and the Kano come on board, put the ESM in place to stop them. After our so called Eastern governors failed us, all of them failed them, failed woefully. Failed woefully. The same Eastern governors, the same Ohanes and Debo, were the ones who came together with Obiano and said that the indigenous people of Biafra, the young men are terrorists. Proscribe them before the Fulanis that are rampaging. Everybody saw it three years ago when Fulani went in a community in Benua, killed 300 villages just in one single day. 300. 300 in one night. Massacred. British saw it. They didn't say anything. The same evil Britain. They didn't say anything. Catherine Alang was there watching funeral of nearly 300 people. Trailers of coffins of dead body. Catherine Alang saw it. And this woman is today in the coastal region, Cross River, tweeting it in Cross River and River State, dancing. Dancing, why Idera Gold, who comes from that part of Biafra land, is still in prison without any crime? And people came out to welcome this woman. Our people, who did this to us? Who did this to us? And for how long shall we continue reducing ourselves before these people? Look at the so called. The, the only African country that goes to Britain every time they are doing elections is Nigeria. 
the only African country, the only, only, the only, the only black race that always go to Britain every day, every every four years election, proving that they are our creators and we are subhumans. You see, one of our own brother who went to the north and kneeled down before Fulani man. I don't know what he was begging them. And this is the people who called our elite. We imagine for any person coming to, to kneel down before Igbo, 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 Igbo traditional ruler. But our own people are doing it. And we are fighting to restore our dignity of what these people have done to us in all these years. That we gave them opportunity to speak for us. They have not done it. The more we are fighting, they ganged up some our own people ganged up and uh, contributed money to rendition mass in Namdekan. Now, our people, we have been here in the Western world. The leadership has been doing so much to make sure that uh, this Jaffa restoration did not stop at, the, at any reason, at any point. Even Mazen Namde Khan being held, we are doing our best to make sure that the Mazen Namde Khan is freed, Biafra restored. And now, you see some people trying to destroy, trying to cause disaffection. Now, let me tell you, dear friends, what you are seeing happening now that we are trying to do and we are guiding you to is a nation build. I said this yesterday and I'm repeating this on Radio Biafra today. What we are doing now is a nation build. And I want you to take it at your heart that without any structure, without any guideline, the reason why our people are roaming all over the place today, our people are roaming like uncontrollable animals. Anywhere in the world today is because there is no leadership. There is no structure left for us after the war. Ohanes Zendibo that would have done this, abandoned it, they were compromised. Ibo you know that would have done this also, abandon it, start doing party and hearing in our lab again. Our people were left wandering all over the place, uncontrollable until IPO be Mazen Namde Kano came. Mazen Namde Kano started by preaching, meeting our people, reassuring them, you know, re reorganizing their mind. And we begin to come together. And he taught us discipline is very important in whatever we're doing. Any organization without discipline cannot stand. Any organization without structure cannot stand. And this is what Mazen Namde cannot have done. And that's what we are holding upon. That our people, if we ask you to stop at this critical, you stop. This is what Mazen Namde Khan have went to Abuja and fought for. Take the power away from them, these criminals. Take the power from the, your governors and give it to you. And leave a structure for you to follow that will guide you jealously. So even in his absence, so that you will not make a mistake, you will not fall back to this stone age these people kept us for many years. This is what Mazen and the Khan did. And these people are coming now to corrupt it. So that you will, uh, 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 they will sometimes they will say, it's a power tussle between Chikidism and the other one. Uh, the leadership have compromised. They, they just want to destroy that thing that is guiding you. They want to turn you against the people who have led their life to get you where we are today. This man called P2B started talking to them at the platform of IPOB. 
anybody that is speaking loud today whether he has the ball to do it or not is doing it because of IPOB. Igbo language was nearly gone to extinct. But imagine now they can't revive it. We nearly got lost completely. And imagine now they can't have put the structure. Follow this structure. Listen to what they have to say. These people will guide you. We don't need anything from you back home. We don't. But our job here is to make sure that we guide you jealously. A nation build. Once Biafra is restored, you know how to handle information. You know what is law. You know how to respect law. You know how to adhere to instruction when it's given without anybody being there. Forcing you to do it. This is what IBOP is asking you. Not forcing it at home. By using gun, killing people who has not benefited anything from the government. Who built their life up from the scratch. Somebody will just go and burn a, a, a house of um, a, a, a 50 or 60 years old man. A house he built when he's maybe 20, 25. A, house, a, a 70, 80 years old man. You go and burn his house doing sit at home. You go and burn his house. Kill some of his children. That is claiming you're forcing sit at home. Somebody suffer whatever he suffered. There's money to buy a car, you go and burn it. You are claiming you are doing for sit at home. Do you is, is it how IPOB Mazen and can establish functions? Can you not ask question? Who are these people destroying these cars? What they are trying to do to make you to hate that then Mazen and the can put in place to protect you to go against it, then they will come for the final cave. This is what we are telling you. We have spoken. Mazen Nam the Khan spent nearly nearly 15 years talking on radio from 2009 from short wave up until last year. If you are claiming that you are Biafra and you did not learn anything from Mazen Nam the Khan, then you do not you shouldn't blame the white people for colonizing us because this is exactly what happened. And British now with impunity without any regard or remorse. Killing us nearly 10 million. We had our documents here, like Deputy Head of the uh, said. Closely 10 million. 9 million internal refugees. It has never happened anywhere in this world. Even the World War I, World War II, it did not happen there. Ukraine did not experience this. No country in this world experienced it. 9 million internal refugees. We had 1967, 1970. Catholic Church helped us for a bit. Uh, for the meantime, less than six months, Catholic Church abandoned us. Christianity abandoned us. Assemblies of God abandoned us. Uh, Anglican Church abandoned us. Can anybody tell me we any church that helped us? During and after the Biafran War. Can anybody, can any church? Catholic Church trying for at least six months, and that was it. Go and check. I'm, I have the. I am telling you what I have the document. I am not just quoting. I had the document here. I go to. I go through through them. We suffered on our own. Now, nearly ten million people slaughtered in a code ball, uh, code blood, spearheaded and supervised by the British. And the impunity is still on today. Our youth have been devastated. Our women have been devastated. Our land has been soaked with our own blood. British is still today in the open, doing open election and politics in Nigeria with the life of Igbo people. Look at the carnage in our land. Look at the spill of blood in our land. From Enugu to the coastal region. And this woman will come in our land. You people will be ignoring them, looking at them. She will come and do everything and go home. Why in England they here? You cannot even steal a, a, a telephone here. Even food in a supermarket, you are not allowed to do that. Ordinary food in a supermarket. But these people will come in our land, destroy our youth. They will arm some of you. You will go and kill your fellow Igbo man. 
You go and burn your own Igbo, Igbo brother's house. Look at the level of killing in our land. And they are talking about election. The same woman, the same Kathleen Alang that claimed that, de that denies uh, about getting involved in, 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 in Nigerian politics is today announcing uh, they will support the successful election in 2023. Well, she just September, just September, September this year, 2022, September, just two months ago. But today, she has come out because they see you people as a bunch of animals, which IPOB is saying no to. Maris Nandi Khan is saying no to, and that is exactly what aggravated them. They went and kidnapped, them, and kidnapped him. The Amazon Nam the Kano have defeated them in their own court of law. In their own court of law. And Katrina Lang is not even caring about a British citizen that has been discharged and acquitted in the court. She never made any stand or make any comment. But she's talking about 23 elections. Sitting in, in, in Cross River and River State, dancing. And tomorrow you will see her going to the Fulani and dance with also Fulanis. A very short, ugly woman. And you people are looking at her. And she will arm some of you to go and kill your own people, burn them. And she, she, Are you telling me she's not seeing, she's in Nigeria? Are you telling me she's not seeing the killings in, in Ebola land? Are you telling me she's not seeing it? Are you telling me that the British are not seeing it? How many barrels of oil that was discovered these people are, were stealing through the, our coast? Barrels of oil. And uh, this, 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 this pig in the creek called Asari Dokobo is not seeing that. There are thousands, billions of barrels of oil stolen from our own land. But you, if you stole any phone, a phone, phone, phone here, you go, you will go in prison here. But they are in a land, polluting our land. I ask them question. All this, their mantra. To anybody that you see, whenever you see them, ask this, them, ask them this question. You are talking about the the so-called your Buhari that died. You brought a, a fake one using him to run the country today. That you never see her, him condemning the killings of of, of the so-called Nigerian citizens. He goes around talking about climate change, climate change. That is what is pushing Fulani from the north to the east. And I'm asking Catherine Alang, and I'm asking British authorities who are listening. I know your agents are listening today. This climate change you're talking about. What about the oil pollution that you have caused in our land? What about the ecosystem destruction that you have caused in our land? Now, what about the, the damage, the waterways that you have damaged with, our, with the oil to destroy our land? Can you compare that to your so-called, your fake climate change? What is worse than this climate change, this ecosystem that you have damaged in our land with the, with the oil, oil pollution? Can you tell us that you people are hypocrites doing your your hypocritical analysis that you're doing you think that we 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 we, we are still living in the stone age we are saying these things that so that our people will open their eyes and see what we are fighting and the mess we're in they have no shame after killing us nearly 10 million Continue killing, they have come again. They kidnap Mazen and the Khan. They, they descend their own court. We are not talking about foreign court. Their own court have discharged and acquitted this man. The British government says nothing. But you see our evil political elites going to the Britain to make a plea for them to be allowed to run the zoo. No politician is stopping. No Southeast governor is talking. No South to South to governor, as they call themselves, is talking. And now, the question I'm asking all these our politicians, what makes you think that the law of the zoo will protect you? If Mazen Namdekanu can win them in their court, court, uh, court of law, 
and he's been acquitted and discharged and they keep holding him and you are saying nothing it will get down to you then what would you do they use the care for the where is the care for the mother today they use wrote to me and made you where is wrote to me and made you today nobody knows buhari and wrote to me and made you But when Buhari, the real Buhari is gone, the road to Miyamichi was put in the back, in, in, in a cage. After using road to Miyamichi to build railways everywhere in the north, now they ask me road to Miyamichi, now go to the east and remove your own railway tracks. Which they, which he came and do. What about you, Guan? They put him there. And his community and his, his state has been, his state has been overrun. By the full and the weed. Is he saying anything? What about David Omai? Killed everybody. Killed our youth like no man's business. To have a presidential ticket. Today, did he got the ticket? Did he got the ticket? What about him? He destroyed Obi. Killed our people. Over 1,000 Igbo youth, young women and youth, killed. And over 1,000 sent to the north. Some of them raped to death. Him and Tambo while go on to presidency. Did we can smell anything ticket to the presidency? Did he got it? How many of them can we count? How many? How okay? Okay, he's busy now. Killing our youth in Imo State. For whatever, for what reason? And nobody knows. Fulani will use you, destroy your own people. In the end, they will push you to the ditch. That is why we are telling our people. That you need to this fire that we have managed to get from the land of the dead and bring and hand over to you. Don't extinguish it. Don't let it go off your hand. They are coming now, playing with you with this valuable thing that we are put in place to protect our land, to use it when it's necessary. They want to destroy it. They want it to look like a you know. Uh, since at home is not something that you can use in the future, we will tell you when we need it. But at this very juncture, there is no reason whatsoever for any sit at home at this very moment. It's not that we don't need sit at home when it's necessary. We need it when it's necessary, not now. There is no call for it, no reason for it. The people who are calling this want to use it to harm you at this critical busy time of the year. And we are warning you in advance. Listen to Radio Biafra. We will not deceive you. We have traveled. We have tested this life. We have studied here. We have seen how society is being built. We have seen how society is being developed. We have seen how countries being run. And this is what we are trying trying to put in your mind to know how to be disciplined, how to listen. When somebody is talking, you will listen very carefully. Know where he's going. At least IPOB is the only organization in place now in Biafra land speaking for our people, both home and abroad, both on the international level, both on the international community, both in the UN. No order, no order. Don't let them, don't let them wrestle this off from you. Don't let them take this away from you. Support IPOB leadership. Protect them as we are fighting for you as well. The world know, like I said here, it is only us that goes and look after our people who are in threat, who their lives are in threat. Our people who are looking for political protection, it's only us that are giving them that political protection here, writing a letter for it. No other organization, they want to destroy it. Our people be wise and open your eyes. Be wise. We have come so far and we can never deceive you. This is nearly 10 years of me in this struggle, including my fellow comrades, Mazin's Rumika. I met them. We started all this earlier with almost with Maz Namdekan. And we are not going to lie to you. We don't we work hard. We we are individuals that we have professions here. We work in this country, we contribute to the society where we find ourselves. So basically, we don't need much about you from home. We we only want to have you to have a better life. Don't let anyone fool you. 
IPOB led by Mazen Namde Kano, led by Mazen Chikedozem, we have never at any point failed you all these years until when they kidnapped Mazen Namde Kano last year. They want to put a seed of discord against you with your people, with the leadership, so that you follow criminals. By the time you realize it, they will now hand you over the, to the Fulanese. Remember, no other organization, no other group, Ohanes and Debo cannot even come out in the Western world now and stand up and said, we had, and I'm, I'm asking them, he can't remember this where he is now, regardless of what his crime is. Somebody of that high profile, no Igbo group, no Eastern group that organized themselves and come here and ask for his whereabouts, what happens to him. If this man happens to be a Hausa man of Fulan, you would have seen every week Northern group and Northern organization, different name, you'll be seeing them falling into UK here, fighting to get their man released. Look at all these Fulani high-profile terrorists. None of them is in prison. None of them is in jail. Mahazen Namde Khan, who is only talking through microphone and fly, self-determination, which the zoo are a signatory to, both on the international and to their domestic laws. And Mahazen Namde Khan has been acquitted and discharged, and they don't want to even to obey their own, own law. No other organization is talking about it. Oh, and is not talking about it. No, oh, oh, they, your so-called politicians and, and not those people you feel like you, you elected are not saying anything. Now, who speaks for you? It's still the semi POB. Even when we are under siege and under attack by our own people, we are fighting to protect. We are still the one talking engaging the western world engaging the leaders of the world engaging people that matters drawing the attention of our people the 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 the, 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 the world to the polite of our people and they are responding you must remain disciplined you must listen to the radio you must listen to the this leadership that only do have established and put in place to guide you safely to the promised land don't let enemy rob it off you don't let them destroy it don't let them instigate you to destroy it by yourself they will not be there to do it in physical but they will send some of you give you some What we are doing. Any organization without discipline cannot stand. Any organization without structure cannot stand. And this is what Mazen Namde cannot have done. And that's what we are holding upon. That our people, if we ask you to stop at this critical, you stop. This is what Mazen Namde cannot have went to Abuja and fought for. Take the power away from them. This criminal election, you have to go to them and take your election, your own local election. You have to go to UK, Britain, and take authority and seek for their for their approval. Then how can you be equal to them if you cannot say to them enough is enough? Remember, remember the northerners. When Jonathan was there, they were trooping. Nineteen governors were trooping to White House to Obama every week. Every week that we are going there, until Jonathan was removed, you see them doing the same thing again. They will the same the same air of fire that is going to UK today, coming to Europe freely, threatening them last election. 
that if they ever meddle into their business, how they're going to want to rig the election, they will have themselves in a sack bag. They will be they will be sent back to Europe in a in a in a, in a sack bag. You know, I met open. Imagine an Igbo man, an Igbo high profile, making an open threat to Europe, Europeans, that if we see you here, you will be go in a body bag. The terrified made it, and he's he's going around here like uh, coming to UK like no man business. And our people, open your eyes, open your eyes, and it's only Biafra. Anything less than this Biafra, not we we are finished. On this note, I want to use this also opportunity to announce this in Dublin. Here there will be. Uh, after this Sunday, uh, the next upper Sunday, so we'll be having an uh, end of the year meeting here in Dublin, and we are using this to this opportunity to invite our people here, the uh, Igbo Union and us other you know community groups here in Ireland to join us. We we'll also have a small fundraising that day. we are planning to have a small fundraising to support our people, Enugu people. There's a very big community of Enugu people here. Uh, I don't see them sometimes supporting what we are doing. So, but uh, I think with what is happening in Enugu, this will be an opportunity for them to uh, come out and support what we are doing. And also, uh, the professors, our people who are PhD holders in Europe and in America, um, like I said, you people never had any platform to lobby uh, for the, uh, the the killings, uh, over the killings of our people back home. And now IPOB is here. At least you can use this to lobby to any um, uh, important uh, office uh, to draw the attention of what is happening back home. Because um, uh, as I said before, there was no organization. There's nothing to that can stand for the for the Eastern people, uh, this, the people that come from that part of the world. There's no proper organization that has that, uh, you know, that has that, uh, you know, structure to do it. IPOB has the structure, and we have representatives. We are registered, like I said, we are registered in every country we are in. So if you want to uh, come in and speak on that, the IPOB uh, structure, uh, drawing the attention of the the carnage that is, and the killings, the raping and the destruction that is going on in our land. This is this is this will be very very awesome, and it will be a welcome also a welcome development. We are open handed to we open our hand widely to welcome all of you uh, to come in so that we our people are suffering and our people are helpless, helpless, helpless. It is very painful that we have these professors here in. Uh, uh, in, in in America, in in Canada, in 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 Australia, everywhere, and uh, they are now they are unable to come together because there was no platform. But IPOB is here now. Join us from any part of the world, like uh, our sister Udu did in the last uh, few months. Uh, so and she's still doing till this very moment. Uh, please join uh, our, our our movement and also use the platform to draw the attention of the world of what is happening to us as a race and the reason for us uh, to free ourselves from these clutches of the enemy so that we can clean the mess in our land, we can clean the, the, the oil spillage, we can have at least a, a decent, a common decent life. And um, this is what I'm appealing to our people and uh, also call for Mazen Nam the kind of immediate release. Uh, he has committed no crime. Your courts have proven it. And we're also calling the world to come in and uh, also uh, grant us uh, this uh, uh, self-determination we are requesting is within our right. 17 million people. We have lost not less than 15 million people since 1945 up until this very moment. We have lost more than over 15 million people at the hand of Nigeria. Nigeria only functions at the blood of Igbo man. And we cannot continue to allow this to happen. Uh, thank you very much for giving me this opportunity, Master Jonathan. And uh, we'll be sitting by to take maybe a few calls before we call it a day. Thank you very much. There, woman, see. Um, uh, deputy, I think I think uh, 
we have to go yes, to uh, open lines oh, over to Mazi, you uh, Mazi, uh, Jonathan, uh, we are going to take a few questions of course uh, before um, I'll be back to wrap up I'll have some few announcements to make uh, but meanwhile let's have some few questions if there are some few questions okay there will be I think so and uh, do not forget that we are live on direct here on Radio Via for House of Service. Coming to you through Radio Via for London. Today is Obotiorie of today is the eighth day of December 2022. Being Thursday, we will go into a few minutes break and when we come back, we will open the line so that people will call just few, few calls to ask questions, if any, mostly or give their views in a nutshell please do not go away as we shall be right back in a jiffy don't go away have defeated them in their own court of law in their own court of law and Katrina Lang is not even caring about a British citizen that has been discharged and acquitted in the court. She never made any stand or make any comment. But she's talking about 23 elections. Say in, in, in Cross River and River State dancing. And tomorrow you will see her going to the Fulani and dance with also Fulanis. A very short ugly woman you people are looking at her and she will arm some of you to go and kill your own people burn them and she, she, are you telling me she's not seeing she's in nigeria are you telling me she's not seeing the killings in the neighbor land are you telling me she's not seeing it are you telling me that the british are not seeing it how many barrels of oil that was discovered these people are, we are stealing through our coast Arrest of oil and uh, this 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 pig in the creek called Asare Dokobo is not seeing that. Uh, thousands, billions of barrels of oil stolen from our own land. But you, if you stole any food, a phone, phone, phone here, you go, you will go in prison here. But and they are in a land polluting our land. I ask them question. All this, their mantra. To anybody that you see, whenever you see them, ask this, them, ask them these questions. You are talking about the the so-called your Buhari that died. You brought a, a fake one using him to run the country today. That you never see her, him condemning the killings of of the so-called Nigerian citizens. He goes around talking about climate change climate change that is what is pushing Fulani from the north to the east and i'm asking katrina line and i'm asking british authority who are listening i know your agents are listening today this climate change you're talking about what about the oil pollution that you have caused in our land what about the ecosystem destruction that you have caused in our land? Now, what about the, the damage, the waterways that you have damaged with, uh, with oil to destroy our land? Can you compare that to your so-called, your fake climate change? What is worse than this climate change, this ecosystem that you have damaged in our land with, uh, with oil, oil pollution? Can you tell us that you people are hypocrites? Doing your your hypocritical analysis that you're doing, you think Meet that you we, we, ready we, we, London. We, our lines are now opened, but please, it will not be too plenty. It will be a few, so you try to call on our numbers, and if you have any question, clarifications, or any contributions, if any, but make it as brief as possible. Our direct line is plus one three two one three three two eight six two two four. I repeat plus one two one three three two eight six two two four. Our WhatsApp and signal line is plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven. I repeat. 
plus six one four zero five one four two five four seven please when you call go straight to the point uh stop do not uh, you know start on preambles please limit the preambles thanking and all the rest please this is not the time our land we are in a fight please when we will thank ourselves is when Biafra is restored so we go direct to the questions or contributions or clarifications as you may wish i have a first caller on signal caller on signal can you hear me yes master jonathan welcome to the program please master jonathan good evening sir the war uh, my comrade the uh, members good evening for me please your my name. name is master if I... okay go on go on go on please i don't have a question to ask because i'm not an ignorant i know the right thing to do and i know the the right thing to listen but i want to use this opportunity to encourage our people that let them endeavor to listen to radio biafra and get the proper and direct information from the Biafra. I want to all them to stop listening to outside talks. The people that talk both of their mouths. The people that is uh, irrelevant. Giving them or saying something that is can never help them. Let them stop doing that. I'm urging them. Let them continue listening to Radio Biafra because Radio Biafra is where you will get the authentic information. But I want to just uh, promise uh, the zoo government and the Britain, let them release our leader because our leader, our leader did not do anything. He is innocent. Marzi, as I have already telling you that my father fought the war. In this our generation, I want to let Nigeria government know that uh, I'm in the struggle, in the struggle to liberate our people. My father is still alive. My brother is in the struggle. My father is only my father that fought the war during the war. But now I and brothers and my sisters is in the struggle under the leadership of Mazin and Dokokalo is how many people but during that time is only my father but now we are about four in the struggle St continue fighting for the freedom of our people this time they can never they can never get any foot of their land or of our land they can never put their foot in our land in this time around we are going to tell them we the new generation of of freedom fighter under under IPOB leadership, led by our leader Mazin Nando Okalo. I got for this here. We can never leave any land to fly any people. There, woman, see. Now I come, Ma, Ma, let me just stop here because I know that you people don't have time. But, but we are not going to we are not going to back down. Of course. Of course. Of course. Ma, see, thank you. There, war. Thank there, you war. There, war. There were caller on uh, what's up. Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Call on what's up. Yeah, I can hear you. There were no, so your voice is not your voice is not coming out as supposed to. I don't know if you are using any device to remove it, please go on. What I want to say is that when this time about to come, the first person that to me was I was very, very I told that because I thought it's I told that I was playing with the I was saying, said everything about when I was interview me. 
I don't know that this person concerning this person you are saying with the camera. Now, see, I don't know if we should, if I know our talent is in the bush working. If we should, I think our contribution should be more on any of the because can you remove your phone from speaker speaker let you remove off the speaker please i think that is the cause okay go on go on go on go on well i think we should call, we should focus more i know what you said they are doing a great work but if our agency has to go the people alone may respond to the yes. Our radio doesn't have power as, as necessary because some people, when they hear radio paper, they say that how come, how come the Nigerian government cannot show this paper? Which means this is the great people we have. But we need to empower it by making it to go viral, as in viral in the sense of every because anybody that uses a smartphone and not following radio paper, we have lost that person already. But that those, those people that don't, that they have, don't have a smartphone, they is not get on the regional village. We still have power over those people. And they will be the ones to spend the news more in the village. Because all this was a was a was a they spent they spent two thousand. I think this point is they should be made for the time. You know that I you know that I call I call them I call them I think very key. So that we can do the situation better. The price is but what I have, I contribute to it. So people say, this is a job effort. The job effort was on during the when people were sitting in black, two more of them. That's the only thing to do the job effort. We're not going to do the job effort. How do you think this, this, we know we are trying to, we should import more power. But the job effort, only a message or cue from either from the autocaster, from one thing again, to know the last thing that was in there every day. To turn off, to change somebody. Let me, let me stop here. Let me. There were, there were. Yeah, what I understand with by what you're saying because the voice is not too clear. It's about the need to spread more the radio Biafra frequency modulation that is FM in Biafra land. There are many challenges. Yes. It is going on, but our people, we should not be given excuses anyway, because this is a, a digital world. It doesn't matter the village in our land. Let us not uh, give too much excuse uh, as if, oh, this is the reason. No. All these rumors and, I mean, propaganda also, uh, they are not coming digitally. It's true, analog. The only thing is that we must continue to have common sense. Mas, I don't know whether you want to say anything about it. Uh, Deputy Omar, uh, Isaiah, any of you want to say anything? Uh, Mas, um, the, I don't know whether it's comment, I don't know whether it's the question. In any case, it is very valid, and um, uh, we've taken note of that. Um, we have continued to review um, the issues, um, the availability um, uh, of our real estate stations and um, their efficacy on the ground. And this time around, we will also once again uh, do so. Our media heads and the media personnel uh, are very very hard working people um they are always looking into um all these issues and if there are still problems in that very regard um we can assure our listenership that these very issues are going to be rectified and of course real estate should be made available wherever necessary definitely he is on point uh because uh, if people have to get a message uh, they need a medium the medium to get a message. Thank you. Of course. And I think uh, last few days the post station was restored because I think it's been a long time that the Mpo was out. But we must continue. 
we must continue. It's a very tedious work, honestly speaking. There are many things involved, but we are in a fight and we will never stop. I want to pick caller or call from direct line because only when people are talking that calls start flowing in. Okay. Caller on direct line, can you hear me? Caller on direct line. Mazi, go on. Welcome to the show. Mazi, are you listening through FM? Um, I'm with the, uh, with the uh, FM, I mean, are you listening yeah, through the radio? It's clear, right? Yeah. Um, I believe today that the uh, human rights are exclusive. So people have known that that man is not a good man. Uh, he's producing this at home. Uh, I have nothing more to say than thank God because people have known that this man is. Outside of Thank of you very much. There, well, there is no seat at home. No seat at home. Anybody, everybody should go to his or her normal businesses. This, any person that is trying to enforce any useless seat at home, please go. The other is go after that person or group of people. It is not from my yes, people. Today, we have understood that this man is an armed robber. Who was is better than this is on paper. Today, this man has exposed himself to the whole world and the whole Japan land. Nobody will obey him right now for starting from today. Thank you for God for allowing him to put this shit at home so that people have understood the type of mama that man is. He is worse than than uh, uh, and all the rest that is. Thank you, my brother. There were, thank you. There were, thank you. There were, thank you. We want to just bastardize our one of our modus operandi, but we will never allow it. Caller, caller us on WhatsApp and signal, please continue holding on. Caller on direct line. Go on, please. Caller on direct line. Good evening, sir. Good evening, sir. Uncle, good evening, all of you. Are I'm listening anyway. I greet you so much. Uh, my name is Nancy Nana Baraman. Today, I do not know how to say this, but to be honest, from the bone marrow, from the blood of mine, I am not shaking. Even if in the dream, Uncle, like you said, when you were presenting your uh, program today, tonight, in the dream, it's better I die following you people than following any other person. Do you understand? So, but now I want to uh, ask this question. In as much as I know that we have the best structure, the best administration, the best of the best, even in heaven and on earth, I still want to ask this question. Because when I was listening to, uh, uh, Mazi, uh, uh, the uh, legal, legal luminary who, in the on behalf of uh, the entourage of uh, Mazi Namdekano's, uh, our lawyers who went to visit him when he was making that uh, presentation of the message he brought for us alongside after the visit. I came to think of so many things. See, I think they, they know that we have so much traitors and uh, uh, a lot of people who are looking out to get one mistake that they will capitalize and begin to mess around. Now, I am asking because it is only when I hear from Radio Biafra I will act on that. And also, if I'm hearing from Radio Biafra, it must be from either or from any of you people now sitting here today or maybe from and if any other thing should be added I think you people always give us information to say please so so person like Ima Powerful Uncle Ima Powerful will do this will give this remark and this presentation 
Now, I'm saying, I'm not opting out for what I believe and what I will always die in need. All I'm saying is that this will bring a room for people to begin to act. Why is it that the Ifani uh, Jimofo uh, uh, and the Awam uh, um, did not tell us in the pre notice that the so person who worked together with them is coming to present the voice notes. Know that to us. I know a lot of them who are listening to us now will be happy me, happy hearing me saying this. But I just want us to do this. I want the you to liaise with the legal luminary and tell them to come on stage. And as you people are talking now, to let us know, yes, you people permit him. He was with you people, and we ask him to say this to us. Because so many of them begin to react, to overreact, that something is wrong, that all this why is only if I need more for Uncle if I need more for and one uh, uh, is here and also is a coming. That's the only key for they know. So all of a sudden what happened that somebody came with a voice note and all that. So I'm only saying because to me, without anybody bringing information to me, I will believe in and the and you people until I back to this struggle. This is me. So I'm only asking that after now, please, you talk to them and let them understand that we want to go in the people who are responsible to information to us every time they are going there. That's, that's, that's the only thing I want to say. Thank you so much. I appreciate there every one of you out there. there Bye. Have a good night. There were. There were. Um, Mazai Saya or Deputy, do you want to say anything? Yes, I would like to go into this, uh, particularly um, on this very matter. Um, it's very, very important. I understand where he's going, and I think that um, that our brother um, is definitely a hardcore. Uh, but please, um, a situation like this, um, we have. We say in Igbo language, hmm? we have our legal uh, practitioners and um, advocates who represent our leader. These people have got their professional job. They are not officers of indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. And that is why you cannot all the time, at all time, at all places, expect them to um, you know, double into what we do or somehow... Um, you know, always be available to uh, communicate. Um, in IPOB, we have channel of communication, and um, that is why we have a structure. That is why we have the, the, the Directorate of State. That is why we have the Head of Directorate of State. That is why we have the Deputy. That is why we have the Continental Reps. That is why we have the National Coordinator, and so on and so forth. So that is why we all say, here on Radio Biafra is where we worship, and that is where we get our information. So if it is sanctioned by the leadership and propagated by the leadership and conveyed by the leadership, it is real. You better take it. There we There we And Masi, I, I don't know what he said also, which I, uh, to my own understanding also, um, he also meant about structuring the output from the legal theme. That is what I mean. That is what I think he also mean or meant. Uh, not, you know, just any person, any of, because there are many lawyers, there are many attorneys. You know, any person may be put on voice. Uh, it's good. It's not bad. But I don't know whether you understand what, uh, you know, yeah, I, I, I try to understand. So that any person cannot just come out and, yeah, oh, uh, while driving, he make a, a voice note on WhatsApp and say, oh, I just come out. Uh, you know, look at, look at, look at, look at what happened, this and that. So it can also cause a kind of, uh, maybe Mas misunderstanding. Mas I want to say something to that regard. Yeah, yeah, that's what I feel that we will, the insight, yes, more actually, insight. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Mas, Mas, um, Mas, um, yeah. yeah. Yes, what, what that brother, um, that Onyemo Chichku said is a very, is a very, very valid point. Is, um, like you said, is a hardcore, even from, yes, he is. 
the way he speaks, he will know a true Bia. You know, so um, the point he made is very, very valid. And I believe uh, sometimes we we understand uh, some of the situations, um, but we don't want to um, put our Lego teams down in the public, regardless. Um, the suggestion and the point he picked uh, up is a very valid one, uh, which uh, I believe some of them are listening to us on the radio. I believe uh, some of the legal practitioners are listening to us. Uh, I mean, I will be legal practitioners. And uh, of course, um, I was not, um, I don't want to say much on that. And I believe um, some of the assigned officers that are communicating to this. Um, uh this our legal teams will get in touch with them and also um, um uh, draw the attention to this uh, to this uh, particular uh, case because it's it's very very important important we coordinate ourselves and this now goes back to what i what i was saying earlier that uh, what we are trying to do now before we launch into the new nation called biafra is um is uh, a nation view and some of these things we need to uh, correct them understand how nations is being run how everybody knows their limits where to stop uh, and uh, what to do when uh, and what not to do so these things are what we're battling now because our people are you know our people were have been you know devastated with the the system we found ourselves in in which I don't blame them. It affects both in both the ones in the grad school and one the deaf. And this is how professor it affects everybody. You know? So it's, you can see the best people and sometimes you so see them in a good environment. Then you see the best out of them, the good ones. You know, but once we are in the zoo, I remember I remember one time I came home and uh, I was trying to use the, the method of the way we drive here. <laughs> My brother was laughing at me. Oh, but you, you will sit, you will, you will wait here until, until Christ come. Oh, they won't let you, you have to behave like a madman like them. You can imagine, you know, see for years, I have to now behave like a madman to be able to, to be able to, uh, you know, uh, uh, cross my way. You see, uh, that is the, the, the whole situation. Uh, but regardless, he made a valid point and uh, definitely will make sure that this this uh, matter is being communicated to some of our uh, people so they won't, they won't be, be um, putting themselves into also uh, harm's way while trying to uh, save our people. Uh, the situation is very really frustrating. I, I can understand the, 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 the lawyer's concerns as well. Thank you very much. The war. Yeah. Though, in, yeah. in the, though the lawyer he did not do anything wrong because he also introduced himself you know uh, it's verifiable so uh, we are just uh, saying it you know um for clarity's sake anyway and this uh, 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 yes. uh, let me just um let me just add one more one just one one point there you see there is a difference in the um in the makeup or the body of this very message that was delivered compared to some of the lawyers that will come and somehow uh, deliver a message uh, you know that borders on the modus operandi of this very movement that is where we have concern we don't have any issue with um, a lawyer uh, that um, uh, brings a message of hope a message of uh, um of discipline and that has been sanctioned by the leadership because the leadership and uh, once the leadership um, um allows that message to go sanctions it or okays it or tells you that this is in order it means it is in order um of course there are some messages that will come out um, um at some point uh, uh, that um, appears to do with the dealings of the internal app will be operation uh, that is um you know in so many ways only um um exacerbating um uh, the very uh tranquility we all here for 
uh, so that is something that I know maybe that is why he, the brother came to say this, uh, because um, sometimes you have one or the other friend that will come out and say things that somehow uh, uh, causes some incendiary. Uh, and that, of course, is not um, acceptable. And that is why at some point you repudiated by the leadership because um, things like that need to be, um, you know, be evaluated before they are, uh, uh, you know, um, you know, somehow put in the air. So, but in this case, we also have to understand where our leader is, um, his situation, and to understand that things might not always be perfect in that very, very, uh, uh, you know, regard. You know, when it comes to communication, but he, he is right. Uh, if he will listen to Radio Biafra and um, understands that the leadership allows that to go on, um, it means he will fall in line. And um, I, I thank him for that understanding. I think um, if every Biafran will have that understanding, we won't have much problem. Of Imagine course. They will. They will. The key word there is being sanctioned by the leadership. That is the key word. Exactly. That is the key word. Exactly. You know, because... Um, once anything is being sanctioned by the leadership, it's finished. So that's it. We must continue. Um, let me go to caller on signal. Can you hear me? Welcome to the program. You have been here since 22 minutes. Go on, please, Marzi. I can hear you, Marzi. Good evening from here. There, yeah, Marzi. Yeah, um, my name is Emmy. Please, I'm calling from here. I want to thank the the members of the US, Mazas Agiba and the Mazins Rumi. Um, what uh, Mazi, as I just said, respond to this issue right now was a very, very cogent one because he made a point. Leader is a disease, very serious one. It has affected our people in the brain and in the blood. So sometimes our blood become the most. If they don't see you with their eye, they don't believe. I think that is why I think uh, at this own side I I prefer what he said more for that. But in notion to continue what I'm saying, my dear brothers, I want to thank this leadership for coming up and video this period of uh, this criminal from Finland to tackle this issue of sit at home. Con Immediately, this issue was announced, and they are coming within two days now to tackle it. And it is very, very important. And I'm pleading to them. Whenever issues of this manner, even the governors, even the Malame, they respond. One of the our HOD must come online at least on radio like this and talk about the issue and respond to them and let me see the result of the effective of nigerian bad blood into into the system of our even those in just as a as i would say even those educated one will also do a lot of things so they need you know so that is the the side i want to thank them for their effort and what they're doing so another thing I want to urge the HOD place. This is a um, uh, just a request or what? How would I call it? They have opened a line where information are passed from home, and they are getting a very good information. And I would like to plead to them if they can open a line, keep it down either those in Europe, those in Asia, or those in America but it will be controlled by the HOD to get information from principal officers or, or members from that unit. Every unit must have that number. Once something happens in the unit, that person can write or send audio message. They say, this is what is happening in my unit. Because most time, issues will arise. The, maybe the national coordinator or somebody consigned must trap it down. It will not get to your those steps it will not get to a table and they will not know what is going on until it expands and it become problem in the unit and cause a lot of harm but when this issue may be perhaps it will be do as i am just suggesting 
it you people can stop this thing before he arrives to the another level so i'm pleading if a line can be opened down where the local uh, even the ordinary ip member can say this is what is happening in my unit perhaps this member have already contacted the uh, the national coordinator maybe the national coordinator are in good time with the zona coordinator he, he will put the thing on the stupid table and it will raise to become a problem in the unit so if this can line can be open where everybody can reach it will become as a borrower so you will get every information you need within the IPOB families all over the world and they can even solve their problems before it will rise to the point so this is a solution i'm trying to make and also once again to thank you people for coming on on radio now to debunk this criminal in finland thank you very much and god bless you hey, wow. No, I say, do you want to say anything? He made a very valid suggestion. Uh, yes, uh, very, very quick. Mm. Very quick. Um, very quick, Miles. We do, um, we do have, um, have, you know, um, inquiry line. The, the, it is called inquiry line. That line is not limited to any, is not, uh, is not, um, has no limitation. That means, uh, like he, he said or suggested, um, anybody can go there and um, make an inquiry, drop a message um, by way of a voice note, uh, uh, video, or, or, or by words. Um, you can send your message there. It has been in existence for, for a while. Um, it's not new. Uh, maybe um, um, to his nations, um, he is, is not um, aware that this is uh, valuable. So um, I just want to inform him that we do have such uh, in case anybody uh, uh, wants to uh, send a message in that very situation. The inquiry line is available, and that is the purpose of that very inquiry line. Um, I think, Mazi, I think that answers the question. Okay. Caller on... Is it... What's up? Welcome to the program. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. Can you hear me? Thank you so much. Uh, good evening, my fellow Biafrans, IPOB Worldwide. My name is Okweike Chuku. I am calling from Spain, Malaga. And I am from Nsuka province, Udenu local government. Uh, first of all, I want to thank DOS for sending Eastern Security Network to a Hamufu. Honestly, sending Eastern Security Network to a Hamufu is one of the best Christmas gifts DOS gives to me personally. Even though a Hamufu people betrayed Eastern Security Network last year and give chance for full enhanced men to evade there and kill them. DOS forgive them and send rescue this year again. And I believe the people of Hamufu have learned their lesson. I will never forget what happened in August last year, how Fulani has men hold a pregnant woman in a Hamufu, open her belly in a, a life, and remove her baby from her belly. And this woman screaming, Jesus, 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 until she collapsed and died. Every day by day, this strategy rings in my ear. And after the, uh, the following two days, the people of the victim went to police station to, to go and take permission for them to bury the victim. And the, you know what the, the division of police in the Hamufu said to the, the, to the people that cause the disease? I quote, the Nigeria Police and Hamu Food Division in East Ruzo local government area of Enugu State has asked the people of Fumbuji community to sign an undertaking that they will allocate land to the Fulani people, accept and live together with them whenever they return to the community before they could release the corpse of those killed by the hands men to the family member to bury. I hope the world are listening. This is what police police told the victim 
that they must accept to leave the Fulani territories before they will give them the disease to bury. This is to, this is to show that Nigerian government is the actor that has sponsored this story to kill our people. And Tony Blink, or is it Tony Blink? I hope she, he is hearing me. Because anytime these people are committing atrocity against us, the world will keep quiet. All what they are looking for is for us to do a mistake. They will sponsor people to tarnish our image so that they will find a way to nail us. But they will fail. And I'm also this opportunity to send the message to those who are sharing so-called banner of sit at home in Ubolafo. We have a lot of reports yesterday in Ubolaho. Because yesterday was our for day. This group of people enter Ubolafo market and they are sharing letters. Say they are sit at home, they must sit at home for five days. And I'm using the opportunity to tell our people of Udenu that there's nothing like sitting at home. Our people of Biafra, Umu Chineke, there's nothing like sitting at home tomorrow. You must go and do your business. Don't be afraid. Eastern Security Network are there all over everywhere to protect you. Anybody that will come out to do this so-called sit at home and enforce it, you will meet your water alone. And all of you who are doing this dirty job in Udenu, I must tell you, we know all of you. We are monitoring you one by one. All your steps we know. In Andima is the day he called Gigeju, I ain't got You must stop following these infiltrators. They don't want Madam Nikano to be free. They don't want the restoration of Biafra. They are working with Nigerian government. The US have said it so many times. Mazichi Nasamuru have said it so many times. Mazichi Kedosem have said it so many times. But you all keep your ear dumb. You don't want to listen. Until you enter your grave, that is when you will leave. Stop following these fools. They don't mean well to you. They don't mean well to us. I don't know how you'll be talking of a election of February and you want to sit at home December. How can doing sit at home December will affect February election? We are not even talking about releasing of Mazin Nam the Kano. We are not even uh, telling Nigeria government to obey, the, obey their cause. We are not even talking of Mazin Nam the Kano. What is this person are talking about is this year election? It shall never be well with you. All of you who are making this work so difficult for us. All of you who are making this work so hard. Innocent people are dying. Every day by day, we are working tirelessly. DOS are not sleeping. Media workers are not sleeping. Because of this uh, if I'm in Joku. Don't worry. Mbosin Tacho and Evolent. There woman. Thank you so much. There woman. Oh, hey, Biafra. Almost here, Biafra. Caller on signal. Uh, Caller on signal. Please go on. Please, people should uh, limit their contributions. Please. Many calls are coming so that we can take as many people. Just go straight to the point and leave so that others will also do the same. Call on signal. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Mazi. A very good evening. There, well, welcome to the program. Thank you, Mazi. I greet um, the members of the BOS. You guys are doing and uh, and you you don't work for the other. I recommend a lot too. Mazi, your voice is so you know. I don't know as uh, it's it's inside. I don't. Is know. it okay now? It's better. It's better. Please, it's better. Oh, okay. Um, I will greet the members of the DOS who are here to talk to Black France. You guys are doing a very beautiful job. May Chuko Kike bless all of you. Um, without missing words, I'm going straight into what I want to talk about now. Um, 
I want to ask, um, is it possible that the documents of how 10 million people were killed between 67 and, and 70, the Biafran war, should be circulated to all media warriors because the war should be notified about what happened. And um, secondly, we want um, the people causing the problem in our Biafran land to know that nobody has monopoly over violence. If the Fulanis were not afraid, why did they tell people to submit their guns, their then guns, before they started coming? They are humans. They can die. So they should understand that nobody has monopoly over violence. And thirdly, Mazi, um, British and French in Europe fought Nazi Germany for their freedom. Nobody should dictate to BR France or IPOB on how to fight for our freedom. Freedom is fought for, it's not, it's, it's not given. There is no apology for such. IPOB Biafran should go the way both countries went during the World War II. Let them come and tell us that freedom is not sacrosanct. The USA fought for freedom against Britain. They won it. Nobody has the right to tell us anything about freedom. It is our freedom we want, and we will get it. And lastly, but not the least, Marzi, um, I will want um, IPOB leadership to think about um, creating a comic book for children, for our children, to start reading, learning about Biafra and all our saints. The Abba Women Rayon, the Ekumeku War, the Civil, uh, the civil War, the Mazinam, the uh, 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 Kang. Please. It is very important. The reason why I'm saying this is because I remember when I was growing up, I was reading a lot of books, a, a lot of comic, comical books. I read about Mighty Thor. I never knew that Mighty Thor was the person that named Thor's day after. So all these things, we should channel all these things too, to start teaching our children about Biafra. And it can be printed in all languages all over the world where our IPOB or Biafrans are domiciled. So that we start teaching our children about Biafra. And for Tony, Mazi, that man is irrelevant to our rest. He, to me, he is a church rat trying to eat from the crumbs of those trying to make Nigeria one. Thank you, Mazi. There were Marzi. There were Marzi Patrick. Can you hear me? You're there. Oh, oh sorry, before you come in, Marzi, do you want to say anything? Any of you want to say something about anything? Or should I continue? No, no, no. no, no. Oh, okay. Yeah, quite, carry on. Uh, Marzi Patrick, welcome to the program. Are you there? Marzi Patrick, you came. Marzi Patrick, are you there? I, I can hear you. Go on, go on, please. Go on, go on. Welcome to the program. Okay. Thank you. I want to say, uh, send my greetings to our, our leaders over there, uh, uh, our deputy European rep and uh, our deputy HOD. I uh, want to say thank you for being on the radio this evening. Biafra has really needed your presence. And I know that uh, from the response, you can see that people are excited. They are happy to hear from their leadership. Um, because uh, that was where it all started. They told Biafras to stop listening to Radio Biafra. Because they understand that um, if, you, if you're able to cut that um, communication, between the leadership and the followership, you have already, you know, gone halfway 
in defeating the your enemy so they they started with the propaganda of uh, trying to disenchant biafras from listening to radio biafra <laughs> where the leader of ipob mazin nam the kano told everybody that that is where the gospel is and where we worship you know that signal alone for intelligent people are supposed to know that the enemy is at the gate but unfortunately some of our people could not even identify at that point that the enemy is at the gate because for your leader who you claim you follow say that any information that doesn't come to radio biafra should not be considered as a legitimate information and somebody tell you not to listen to that source of uh, you know in a uh, source of information where you are directed that that is where the message you should be listening to is coming from and you are not able to identify your enemy then you know that our people have a long way to go that is number one secondly there is our brother that also <clears throat> made the point here that the lawyer should come and speak on the radio or The masses will make yeah. the masses, all those things are not needed because even if the lawyers come from Nati tomorrow, people who will not still believe will not believe, you know. And it's not the duty of the, the lawyers to bring message from uh, uh, Mazin and the canal and start sending to Biafra. There is a pattern that messages goes, and the one we had. Uh, the voice note that is in question now the lawyer introduced himself told them he didn't hide his identity direct message to be so how else do you want him to question now the lawyer introduced himself told them he didn't hide his identity direct message to be so how else do you want him to Question now. The lawyer introduced himself, told them he didn't hide his identity, direct message to be. So how else do you want him to officers that are communicating to this um uh this our legal teams will get in touch with them and also um um uh, draw the attention to this uh, uh, to this uh, particular uh, case because it's, it's very very important uh, important we coordinate ourselves and this now goes back to what I what I was saying earlier that uh, what we are trying to do now before we launch into the new nation called Biafra is um, is uh, a nation view and some of these things we need to uh, correct them understand how nations is being run how everybody knows their limits where to stop uh, and uh, what to do when uh, and what not to do so these things are what we're battling now because our people are you know our people were have been you know devastated with the the system we found ourselves in in which I don't blame them. It affects both in both the ones in the grad school and for the deaf. This is how professor. It affects everybody. You know? So you what can see the best to take and sometimes to you see them. Allow them to take it. So that when they get to the short end of the road, they will still return back. Is it not this IPOB? All of them will still come back. You understand? So all we just have to do is maintain the cool. Talking to people who still want to know, but I, you know, you saw these people rigmarole running up and down, looking for shortcuts to get Biafra. They will still come back while we are here looking at them. I want to say thank you very much, Marjis, for were. giving me the time. There we, there we. We must continue. I have 
colors let me see who was there first color on whatsapp welcome to the program yeah good evening Mazi. i do there we uh, my name is choko i'm calling from italy good evening Biafran. good evening um deputy hod and the masters are your back I greet you all, and I also greet their friends all over the world and lovers of freedom. I thank you, and uh, I thank God who sent, who gave us Mazin Landekalo. He's a source of inspiration and their friends. I'm very happy to be part of this family and this movement. And uh, I thank God for the our leadership because it's the highest gift. God have given us through Mazin Namdekalo. Last time I said that the generation of um, Britain who have been fighting and the, trying their possible best to hold us down, they are not the ones now. But the structure Mazin Namdekalo have put in place have been there for us and they have been helping us. I also witnessed tonight that the character of the DOX speak more than their voice. And I'm happy even when one of, one of the DOX, Maza Zayoba, was saying something this night, he said that they're about the nation building. And the Mazina and Hakal has been saying it. And the, I believe that Mazin and the Carl said that we build a different children um, up to 75 years. And I believe that the building of Biafra has started now. And I thank God for the people he has been using. Um, our structure, the way it is and the how it's going. I'm grateful to God. I also want to tell you that last time I was the one who asked a question. I, has, I asked one of our senior comrade, Mazde, um, China Sangwolu, what can somebody do to him and he will, reject, uh, he will leave their friend struggle. The response he gave to me, the first response was clear to me. And I'm very happy the way he responded and tell us that all of us, we are partaking, we are, we are a stakeholder in this Biafran struggle. I asked that question for a purpose, it's just to learn and for others and all our brothers and sisters to learn from it. Because what we have been suffering, we have been subjected to be suffering for a long time, from generation to generation, for decades have been suffering. And uh, that's why I, I asked myself that question before I throw it to him. I yeah, said well. that nothing will ever make me to leave this Biafran struggle, no matter what. Because these people, they don't want to give up. They don't want to leave us to live in our own land. It's very sad. And uh, I want to say some, something tonight, which of some of us will bear me witness that we are speaking now. What of our people? Who are mad in different parts of the world. Nobody knows that they are existing. It's only this Biafra we rescue all of them. But no problem. Let me just uh, um, let me not just uh, flood issues, please. I want to make an announcement, please. No, as go on, go on, go on, go on, please, and round it okay. up. Be brief. Be brief. Many calls are okay. coming. Okay. Okay. Please, uh, we are having end of the year meeting and the ESM fundraising by this Sunday, 11th day of the month. And we almost, always have meeting every second Sunday of the month. So if you are, we are having an IPOB Roma. So if you are coming and you are missing road, please, we are having it in 10 minutes. If you are coming and you are missing road, please call this number 351-11-33-004. The second one, three five one zero one two five seven six one three five one zero two three four six nine zero. Thank you. Bless you and God bless their friend. Yeah, well, and you too. Remember, bless. 
caller on uh, it seems people are not asking questions Nazi. they are just making contributions most when we need questions no person we ask caller on, uh, Mazi, um, yeah uh, please uh, strictly for questions because I've got some few announcements to make. Okay. Um, uh, whoever comes on board should um, indicate whether he has questions or not. Okay, and that is it. Um, caller, any uh, you hear the directive? If you don't have questions, please, it's better you reserve for another day. Don't call. These calls are strictly for questions. We know the reason why we are soliciting for all these questions from time to time because you know some people they used to complain that look why not people when there is time for question people are calling they don't allow people that have question to call that is why we always talk about this so that if you don't have questions the radio biafra is there 247 you can call any other time to give your suggestions or to talk no problem about it but once a directive is given please let us abide by it because there are many people that wants to know something or clarification questions please caller on signal welcome to the question no, welcome to the program please go direct to your question caller on signal can you hear me brother jonathan chic that is how you are going to my name is i'm from omawa look province and I'm calling from Abakurde. And I ask this question then as I will. Why is it all these governors, all these all these religious leaders in Biafra land, keeping silent and our leader discharged and acquitted before the whole world? And they want to do election. Number one, and I just say to care when you because my heart is and now that they will not say that we are arrogant because they don't have the power come. And though every human race on this earth, those that we are friends, we are different races, and this is our land. And they want to kill us and take our land after 10 million massacres of our ancestors. That is the Jonathan nature. We have common sense, that is the Jonathan. We are not afraid of any nation. Yeah. If the option is where we are before we are decided that we can only be decided determination. So that is a very jacket. Yeah. And you want to be a slave. And you got the thing that I are jacket. But we are afraid of. I'm not afraid of food. If the only is not on the water. It's not the end of the promise. Am I not a dear friend? You know what? Let the governor see if you have to go and leave. And we distribute them for election. Let them. I can play here in the Shangyan. I'm the guy. Marzi, leave it for another day, please. Marzi, let him answer your question. Leave it for another day, please. There were. There were. There were. Because of time, uh, our deputy HOV have some. I mean, announcements to make. Marzi. Yeah, please, ju just let me uh, take let me take this few calls. I don't know whether you have any any anything to say about what our brother asked about the silence of our political echelons in Biafra land. Uh, Marzi, uh, very simple. One is the. Um, Capability, you know, capability. It means that they work together with these enemies. They are capable, you know, in what has happened. Um, if you watch the events that led to what is happening right now, you find out that um, um, definitely um, the so-called governors um, initiated um, the very uh, have work. Uh, practices embarked upon by our, our own enemies. So uh, the reason why they are quiet is because, you see, if you are part of, uh, for example, if you are part of uh, a particular group of people who killed somebody, for example. Or a crime syndicate. Uh, and so, yes, and, 
somehow there's a little bit of conscience left in you. Uh, you will lack the board to step up um, to uh, do the need. So, um, so uh, somebody like Judas, uh, who had some conscience left in him, um, he took his own life, right? Um, we have these governors who, did, of course, lack conscience, but uh, for the fact that um, they don't have, like I said before, they don't have the necessary uh, thing a man does have. Um, so they cannot stand up to do their needful. But sometimes, you see, um, if you want to show remorse, what you do is to make use of every ample of opportunity um, and to go and get things corrected, rectified. Uh, and that will, that, will, that will make it for the day. But not this set of governors, these very, very shameful governors, unfortunately, uh, cannot do so. Um, so the answer is because they, they were involved in what is happening today. Thank you very much. There we I think uh, we should be rounding up. Let me pick just a few other calls. Well, what do you say? Uh, just very few, and then maybe one or two, and then um, oh, 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 okay. now go to round. Okay. Caller on WhatsApp, please welcome to the program and go direct to your, to your question or questions. Go on, please. Caller on WhatsApp. Good evening, sir. The world. Welcome to the program. Mazin Zulumiki, good evening. And the Mazin Zayoka, good evening. Yeah, I'm calling from the Zoo Republic. My question is um, all these people betraying, like Southeast governors, and this in Jokon of a man. Is it that they don't know the history? Is it that this genocide and this killing happening is this present today, right from time? Is it that they don't have conscience? Is it that they don't know? Or is it that they don't feel it for them to betray this shrug because I don't want to see the kind of blood that has been spilled. They sh I think they shouldn't be doing like this. They shouldn't be betrayed. They should. All these governors and the, the rest of them. I don't even think someone should reason. Someone should think of betraying this struggle because <laughs> the kind of killing happening, the kind of things being laid upon or the kind of things that has been happening to the whole Igbo I don't think people should be betraying the struggle. And my second question is, here in, in our place, we don't receive this uh, uh, radio from, from my TV radio. I think the... Uh, which the side? Sorry, you, can you just explain the overall side? Not in particular, but which side? I'm in Imberi now. Yeah, yeah. In Imberi, local government. Yes. Yeah. And I, I want to make this request, please. I am not a member, and I want to be a member. How do I go about it? Thank you. There were. There were. There were. There were. Um, very quick. Uh, I think the first question you answered them all. You are the one that asked and the one that answered the question. Those um, statements you made um, by way of uh, question were the answers. Uh, no feelings, uh, um, no education. Um, and so many things you said there, all in combination, um, is what is happening. And of course, selfishness. Okay. Um, to be honest with you, these so called governors, you know, those of them who become Nigerian presidents, they go there without school certificate. It's just an example. Um, so there is nothing you can, you can do to roll back their brain, their brain cells, um, to somehow, um, comprehend. Um, what the light is all about. They cannot comprehend because uh, 
you know, they didn't get it from beginning and therefore no memories and therefore, um, you know, brain cells, uh, the brain cells that already already degenerated completely, you know, backward. So um, by way of age, of course, and uh, uh, health situation. Uh, and then in general, if they were not educated, they would know. And they are very lazy to learn. Uh, Onion Duma has now the kind of provided a platform where everybody can learn, whether you are a professor, a degree holder, wherever you may be, um, uh, because um, this is where we find out that uh, uh, being a PhD holder is not all of it. You you have it, but you lack a whole lot. Uh, here on Radio Biafra, people were made to become uh, PhD holders. Um, if Radio Biafra were to uh, issue certificates, we have people who have a PhD uh, degree. Um, those are people who can come out in the public and teach and uh, have, you know, impact knowledge uh, uh, to the so-called uh, politicians. Uh, to be honest with you, they are not educated. Forget about what they say they read or whatever they say they have. Uh, they are not educated. And also, to be honest with you, a lot of them learn from Onye Dumas in Americano. They used to listen to Radio Biafra. They used to hide under their beds, uh, uh, be, you know, by the side of their wives, and tune on the radio and listen to Onyan. They learned a lot. They forgot about uh, their shenanigans, uh, you know, and their uh, fecklessness. Uh, they learned a lot. So, uh, my brother, you did answer that question. Um, if the other one has to do with um, uh, how to become a member, um, you can, um, if that's a way, you can inbox uh, uh, our presenter, uh, the number two, which you can be contacted. Uh, you can you can do so if he can provide you where you can send that very uh, contact uh, number, then um, uh, we can follow it up from there. Yeah, well, Mazi, let me just. Uh, Mazi, um, I have uh, somebody. Mazi CJ, can you hear me? Welcome to the program, please. We are around. I can hear you, I can hear you, Mazi Jonathan. There you go, Jonathan. There you go. Yeah, good evening, Mazi Oba and Mazi Romike, our deputy HOD. We thank you people so much for what you're doing for our people, and uh, we are here to support you guys um, till eternity. It doesn't matter what 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 anybody says, what anybody do. Um, I have um, two or three questions to ask. One of you brothers on uh, this uh, idiotic, um, moronic Tony Blair, who has lost all integrity in Britain, in the Western world, and in everything that defines logic. Every logical person in this Western world have lost faith in Tony Blair. And Tony Blair has just shot himself in the foot by coming in the way he's coming in to, de to denigrate, to denigrate the people of Biafra, to pour salt on our wounds that he and his generation um, perpetrated on us. I understand that the, that the, our leadership are on it already. And I'm glad there's so much interest from our leadership with regard to that issue. Because this is how BBC came out the other time you know, to try to do a dirty job. They failed. And now Tony Blair. Um, my learnings goes to Mazin Zrumike. Uh, uh, is the leadership gonna unleash the same venom they unleash on 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 on, on BBC? Are we are they gonna unleash it the same way to? I mean, on Tony Blair. That will be my recommendation because these people have taken us for a fool for a long time. Secondly, is the leadership? Do they have any plan? to make us or encourage us to confront these people, particularly Tony Blair and his likes around the world, anywhere they are, 
in any fora they are is there any plan to sponsor people around the world wherever they are delivering speeches wherever they gathered wherever it is we can fly in there find our way into that fora and ask confrontational questions to them because i think it's about time we begin to confront these people anywhere in the world it's our right it's the civilized way of bringing your issues to the people and our own dumas and the colonel have shown the way it is now clarifies it is now authentic and this is the we confront very civilized and the and civilized people so are uh, the leadership gonna bring in this, this kind of approach that's my own view this approach enough of sitting down we live in this in, the, in all of these countries we know they come to deliver speeches to engage with with uh, universities to engage with organizations institutions around the world where we live where the Africans reside and i'm glad Mazuba made a made a comment I and mean, about our professors and the academias around the world and the premium movers that are Biafran stock that is important they begin now to come up so that they can join hands and see how we can confront these people today warfare is no longer what do you call it um um ammunition or whatever i don't have uh, arms, arms and bullets it's no longer the way to confront people arms and bullets are no longer the way to confront people you could see it's failing it's failing now between between russia and ukraine arms us us and the western world are now on their knees begging russia for a for, for a roundtable talk because they know they can't confront this whole thing with arms but it, it has to be with talks and good discussion these people are running away from discussing biafra and we must bring it to them what they did in Biafra, believe you me, anyone that I have time to dig to dip in a little bit about what these people did to us. Not minding what uh, what you call him uh, Al Mustafa is peeing out now. If anyone is following what is going on in that in the tip of the iceberg. There is so much that people don't know why well, we don't know since 1956 but today please the the, the dos this, this these two questions around to the player and 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 his likes i want you to address it there we number two now the please try to round up is, yeah this idiot in in finland i'm i'm rounding up i'm rounding up this idiot in finland the zoo and the like the rest of them just brought in by the back to destroy they are failed in so many ones they will not stop until we stop it's important that i just brought in by the back to destroy they have failed in so many ones they will not stop until we stop it's important that i i want or something like that this guy must be stopped. if he's not stopped he will not stop because here we are in this country Mazuba is aware of what i'm gonna say now they have gone trying to destroy with the government and this was confirmed by one of our of our people that went that went on the asylum interview the, the government brought out a letter and showed them that some group wrote a letter here to say IPOB DOS no longer IPOB that that it is them now that is representing IPOB under Mazina de Kano. This was revealed to us. Remember, Jonathan, you could remember that was a day I was trying to catch you one Sunday. Uh, 
gonna say, I don't know. What I was gonna say, to room around to for so long. The third one and final one. Mazi, I am. I had. Mazi, please I round up. Mazi, try to round up. Limit I'm your. Up. Please, I'm, you know I'm, I'm, you I'm are not rounding. Please, the, the we have no time. Herdsmen, the flowers are gathering. They are gathering. You know, they are gathering in, a, in three villages in the Wore West. Orogwe, Amako Yubi, and in Degu, they call it in the Wore West. And these are the ones that were chased out by Agua people and the Zombie people. And when they were, since they were chased out, that was why Wopus Adima moved the Vivago to be killing in the Zombie. They are wanted to dead the Zombie people because Zombie people chased Mufulani. Uh, wow, now they are gathering in these communities. They are increasing in numbers. We have, we have evidence that they are increasing in numbers every day. Is the, is the, is the, is the DOS, whoever is in charge, we see uh, ESN. Are they gonna send people? Are they gonna send ESN around there to at least have a look? I know ESN is trained now in terms of resources, but please, very important. I want to know if this can, this can be done. Thank you very much. I had wanted to uh, uh, expand on that. I know there that there it, but our parents is gonna do it. Thank you. There we Thank you. Um. I don't know whether I pick this I last like, caller. I would like Mazuba to take some of these questions. Okay, uh, but, uh, before please, I take uh, the last caller. Can you name. recap uh, the the towns he mentioned? Is it Amako here or what? Can you re recap? Mm, Mazi, honestly, he's <laughs> uh, not a zombie anywhere. Uh, but I yeah, could... Yeah, it's not a zombie. I think, uh, you know, where the West is... Yeah, uh, where the West, just, yes. Uh, take that one. Where the West, he, yes. mentioned, he, he mentioned a zombie and... Uh, no. Amakoya no, somewhere there. He said those from a zombie, he's those not, pursued from a zombie. Yes. Now came to Amakoya and, and three and two other villages in over the West. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I, will, I, will get, I will get that from him yes. uh, as soon as this program finishes and then I will pass it to... Um, um, those in charge that uh, will look after that. Okay, Maz, is there anything you want to quickly um, answer among the questions? Well, okay. yeah, based on a um, few things he, he said um, regarding, um, I think, uh, which one? I think he mentioned um, the BBC treatment to Tony Blair. To Tony and, Blair. Uh, confrontational yes. questioning. I think confrontational okay. questioning. Then they say, is, I'm going uh, to call you. not hold anybody from throwing a confrontational questioning or hackling or whatever it is. I think that one is clear, uh, but um, as go ahead anyway. Yes, uh, let me just go on and say something on on, on uh, our people joining in, as I have said before, because you mentioned that, and also uh, Tony Blair uh, coming into the Nigerian, uh, if you like, those that answers Nigeria into the political um, uh, um, arena. Um, like I said before, it was only on September um, uh, this Catherine Alang uh, tweeted as a decline that um, uh, they, they they have nothing to do with uh, uh, our meddling into the Nigerian politics. Well, and then today, today, uh, she came out again and said that there will be bare on ground to grant uh, to make sure that the zoo have um, a successful 2023 election now and um tony blair somebody that uh, made a very disgrace uh, uh, of himself uh, during the time when he was um, a prime minister now, this man cannot go anywhere in europe and stand on a podium and talk because of the mess uh, because of the lies he lied to the british people I uh, invaded Iraq, killed over one million Iraqis, uh, and then only for him to come out, uh, and then only for him to come out and to Nigeria, um, which they created, you know, call it Nigeria, uh, just to uh, exercise their muscle or, pre uh, uh, or, or, or present themselves as innocent and pure, because they know there is no light in Nigeria which they deliberately make sure there is no light and also they deliberately make sure there is no internet because uh, light has to work uh, internet has to work with lights um and all these things are put in place 
to make sure that our people do not get information. You know, this is why our people still live in Stone Age because um, they have no access to the in internet, they have no access to the outside world, what is going on at the rate, uh, the speed the world is moving now. And uh, our people have been left behind. The only thing that is functioning and uh, and um, doing very well in Nigeria or in our area is only church, uh, which only preach the interests of the white man that colonize them and uh, make them look like angels and their angels, the angels are white, everything about to do with the host of heaven are white. And then uh, when it comes to a black man, Satan becomes a black man. But when he was in heaven, he was a white man, he was a good choir master. And when he comes to down to the earth, he turns to a black man. It is crazy. This is why they are doing what they're doing in Nigeria. They, they just come there because they know that people are still in darkness. They don't know what is going on. I, I mean, Tony Blair, that, that has the worst record in history. Now he's talking about meddling into the zoo, uh, zoo, you know, uh, political affairs or domestic affairs. Now, where is Tony Blair in the last 10 years now? Where has he been? How come all of a sudden now he popped up in the zoo election? Uh, Mazi, he's a scavenger. Yeah, we are talking about the scavenger. The man is hungry. He's looking for a way to get petty oil money. And um, you rightfully said it. He's a uh, he's, uh, he's a genocidist. Uh, by Mazi, do not forget. Mazi, and, uh, can, let me by, add here that he, his wife also is one of the uh, uh, members or co- uh, auctioneers uh, of uh, Dangote. He has something to do with Dangote, the wife of Tony Blair. So they have... That is it. That is it. So he knows Understand. what he's doing. Yes. Um, uh, yes. Uh, so definitely, Maze, definitely uh, the BBC treatment our brother was asking. Um, mm. uh, we, so the leadership has got his own um, agenda and, and uh, the ways of, um, of um, attending to some of these issues. Um, we can only assure you that the, 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 the Tony Blair matter, um, that the leadership is on it. Um, the BBC treatment might even be a child's play um, because we take his threat very, very seriously. Uh, he is a threat uh, to the existence of this very, very um, uh, family called um, uh, Biafrans uh, at large. We're not talking about Indi, but only uh, those of them who are from Efik, those of them who are from Ejo, those of them from Egala, those of them from Ibibio, all of them, they are affected. Tony Blair is referring to all of them, whether you call yourself Niger Delta or South, 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 um, you are also under threat. Uh, that we must make very, very clear. Um, otherwise, uh, uh, Mazi, um, I don't know, I think... Uh, if there are further questions, let's quickly go into no, the let me, is, uh, There is just one more person that has been here since 24 minutes. Let him ask his question and you continue towards making the announcements. Caller on signal, can you hear me? Yes, thank you, Professor Jonathan. Good there evening well. from my side. Welcome Good to evening, the members of the Little of State. My name is Masi Celestine Oba, and uh, I am coming from a quite state Biafran, and precisely. Uh, Masi, uh, I have a question, and I have um, an information to tell Biafran, of course, you just hinted on it, and that's about uh, Tony Blair's wife, Claire Blair. She is a sitting board member of the Angote Group of Companies here in Nigeria. That's the reason why the junk statement he allowed the Anamajuri to publish against IPOB in ugly session. My question now is why uh, there are so many defam the defamatory statements from the corrupt compromise Zoo Nigeria Gota Medias against the Lobo family of IPOB. Even when there are so many press statements stating clearly that people like Eprima are not member, or any official or any principal servant of this organization. But let me make reference to the publication of Vanguard yesterday, referring to Ekwema as an IP, a former IPOP leader. Marzi, my question is, why can't we explore, implore some legal sanction to curtail this madness from this 
um, compromise gotten Nigerian media who undermine investigative journalism but sit in the comfort of the offices to report junks. That's my question, Marzi. There we Marzi, now you continue answering this question. You continue towards making the uh, announcements and closing yeah, remarks, please. I will, I will answer this question now very shortly. Uh, Marzi, um, Oba will give us a very, very short uh, um, um, uh, you know, closing uh, remarks, and then I will go for the few, um, few things I want to say, and they would also now close up finally. So, well, um, the issue of uh, Zoo Gotham Media is um, has been, um, you know, is something we've been tackling. It's not from today. Our leader was uh, still, uh, you know, out there when we started. Um, battling the media, the gutter media of the zoo, you, as you all know, um, some of them decided to be very much uh, precautious. Some of them decided to remain adamantly uh, stupid and uh, uh, very uh, careless, if you will. Um, for those of them who continue to remain careless and to see whether uh, they report their messages in such a way that somehow um, they will... Um, feel do, doing the bidding of the of the masters of that very um, contraption uh, we shall respond uh, in kind of course uh, these statements uh, just came out and um, indigenous people of biafra we do study cases by cases uh, situation by situation and then we do evaluate and then we do decide the right measurement uh, of responses um, that will go to each particular situation but I must thank you for that, your observation, um, um, definitely. So um, at this juncture, a microphone back to Marzi um, Oba to come up with a very short remark uh, so that I will round up uh, what I have remaining on the table. Thank you so much. And by the way, dear friends, uh, keep, keep listening. We are, we are not yet done, but we will wrap up very, very, very soon. Marzi, go ahead. Marzi Oba. Yes, Maz, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, regarding what our brother just said, um, asking about the zoo media, uh, first of all, the zoo media is not even sparing the zoo itself. You understand? Even uh, anybody that watch the Al Mustafa, the um, right man, the right hand man of um, late Abacha, will not understand the damage the zoo media have done to itself and to the general public of the wider animals in the zoo. Um, and that is why, um, you know, they can even uh, continue to uh, spread the news of um, Katrina Lang, when she denied not to be involved in the zoo politics, while summoning almost the entire para the zoo parasitas a meeting on left and right and center, and at the same time, see her in recent time now in uh, River State, why Idara Gold was suffering at the hands of the Nigerian government, a fellow woman, a young girl that, had a uh, that has a future, and this woman has, shows no empathy, empathy whatsoever. And um, now the Tony Blair have come up and um, with uh, his own um, uh, uh, jamboree. But having said that, uh, to those who have um, one of our brother, Mazi CJ uh, Kajetan, uh, that um, actually said, uh, asking what we, uh, the leadership is going to do about um, uh, to curtail this idiotic man called Tony Blair. Um, at least uh, the IPOB leadership have fired the first shot, the warning shot by issuing press statement. I think anybody who have seen that press statement, uh, what we ask our people is to share any press statement that is coming from the IPOB leadership and also the publicly, uh, publicly, uh, public secretary, um, uh, Emma Powerful. So it's very important, very important. Once you see some of those, uh, press release, the best thing you can do to share them because it gets to them and then they will now know that we have our, our, our eye on them, uh, that we are not ignorant of what they are doing. 
So it's very, very important. That's why we ask you to, you know, listen to Radio Biafra, watch the activities that are coming from Radio Biafra, um, you know, news lines and, uh, and also react to it, not to be listening to this, um, uh, a pervert that is uh, that is answering if I in 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 Finland, uh, so that they will not compromise and destroy the effort we have managed to establish. One thing you have to know, dear friends all over the world who are listening tonight, is that the 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 leadership have established the presence of Biafra across the globe now. And uh, nobody can take IPOB for granted. I think it was uh, just last week uh, the U.S. government responded, denying the the um, the, the allegation that uh, IPOB was on them or being involved in some certain things that is happening in the zoo. So they they came out to say that they they are not aware of that. So uh, if IPOB is not doing what is right, the government of the world won't be responding to. Uh, when we call them up, uh, call them out on some certain, you know, strange um, activities we are seeing, either them directly are doing or indirectly they are doing it. So we have passed the stage, like Marzi Moru said, uh, we are happy we have passed the stage that uh, we're getting to the point now that we are engaging the, the government that matters around the world. So in summary and in closing remark, as I have said before, uh, I will ask Biafrans to remain loyal. Our leader is fighting hard. Uh, do not do something that will also jeopardize his uh, you know, release. It's very, very important. That is what the enemy are trying to get you to start doing. And then they will pin it on our leader saying that he's the one causing it. Um, the insecurity of the zoo have increased since they have kidnapped our leader. They were saying before it was our leader. Uh, he's preaching hate and all the rest of it, and they had him, and then the insecurity even get worse. Now the Nigerian government become the rogue state that actually, actually themselves, a government that is feeling insecurity and trying to blame it on the poor people. I don't know where a legitimate government will go into a community over they are looking for one criminal or the other, and then you burn down the house of uh, a civilian that is uh, that believe in one in one Nigeria. Now, how is that person going to come out tomorrow and say that he's now a proud Nigerian? Even when they don't support IPO, you go to their house, you burn their houses down. So how would they see themselves? So you can now see that the 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 zoo, the Nigerian government is actually guilty of what they're accusing us for. So it's very, very important. We we listen to the leadership, follow the structure of IPOB, follow the lay down rules Mars and Nam the Khan have put in place, remain loyal, remain law abiding to the rules and regulation of IPOB. I'm not saying about this. The rules and regulation of IPOB, when we ask you to come out, you come out. When we ask you to sit at home, you sit. When we ask you to march, you march. When we ask, then we can claim responsibility if anything happened but if you go on your own way listen to somebody who is not a part of the this movement and uh, and they fall into a ditch then you do not come you don't need to come to ipob and blame us these fools in, in finland this gang of gang gang perverts i call him if i in joker that is making noise everywhere never one day one day never one day had any representative that have gone to the zoo court never want to send a lawyer his his gang that he put up he, he established in, across the biafra land that is raping and kidnapping and destroying snatching of car some of them that we are caught in the process he never sent a lawyer to go and release them he never asked about them so all of you who are going out there placing fake posters of sit at home if we catch you we will treat you as a criminal you are this is the order we are giving to biafrans and the and and also to 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 our men on ground if we catch any of this idiot any of this idiot that is pasting all these flyers and the posters everywhere in biafra land uh, threatening the lives of our people 
if we catch you, we treat you as a criminal. You are because you are what you're doing is incriminated. You are trying to destroy the life of our people, and we are not going to take it lightly with you. It's better now you desist from what you're doing and go and sit down. When we call sit at home, everybody know we also issued press release. We let the world know that we are the one calling this sit at home, and anything that happens to it, then we take responsibility. You cannot go and commit crime and then pin it on IPOB and the IPOB leadership and the Nam the Kano, and you think we will sit down here and accept it. That's no longer going to happen. And I'm also using this opportunity to appeal to our people our professors here in the western world who are where to do you have no platform all these years to talk about the welfare of our people i don't know how anybody in this western world will have a better life and seeing what is happening to your village and communities and the worst part of it when you don't have platform to express your concern our sister Uju Anya was saying, said what she said because IPOB were at least able to have presence everywhere. And once she says something, it revibrates everywhere. So I'm also using this opportunity to appeal to our people, professors, individuals who are well to be in, who are well connected, to also use the platform of IPOB to talk about the welfare of our people who are going through trauma at the Nigerian at the at the hands of Nigerian government at this very moment. Our land is being soaked with our own blood and this can no longer you know be allowed to continue. We are not going to allow this. And that is why we are letting the world know that this has to stop. And Tony Blair, you have your children here, you have your family here, and not what you are doing in Biafra land, the crime you're committing, the crime you're committing in Biafra land is not even being in, allowed here in, in UK. Please stay in your country and leave us alone. You people have killed us enough. And we're saying enough is enough in this time. If you continue to meddle into the affairs of our life back home, we are going to expose you and your criminality, which you even the world know that you're a criminal. You're a war criminal already. And we are warning you now to stay away from our land. You can have anything to do with the Fulanese. Stay, you do it with them, but stay away from our land. And do not condemn or, you know, put our life in danger because of your selfish interest. You are an old man now. Tony Blair, you are an old man now. You have enjoyed life. You have gotten everything you need in this life. Stop killing our youth. British, stop killing our youth, please. You have youth here. And stop killing our own youth. We are human beings. And we have right to live. We have right to life. We have right to self-determination. You just walked away from European Union. Nobody was killed. Nobody was killed. No Scottish was killed. No Britain was, British was killed. And look at our own now. Look at blood. The life of young youth being cut down every day because we are asking for the same thing you just walked away from just a few years ago. And our people, please, remain loyal. There's no seat at home. Where we have gotten now, where this struggle have gotten now was not achieved by the only single seat at home. Was not achieved by the only single seat at home. We have achieved it through different method. And we are telling you, please, adhere to the instruction of the IPOB leadership led by Mazen Namdekano. Mazen Namdekano have passed the message and we must respect that because what they are trying to do is to remove the command that Mazin Namde can have over this IPOB family, and then they will go after him. Because once they compromise it, they will now tell him and tell people, look at now, you have lost control. You are no longer the one in charge of IPOB, and you are no longer the one the one in charge of Biafra land, and look at what is happening now, and then, you know, somebody else is in charge. So they are no longer listening to you, and then they will, they will, they will begin to molest him once again. And this thing, we are not going to allow it to happen. Our leader's instruction and directive must be adhered to the letter. And thank you very much for listening to us this night. And it's always a pleasure to have all of you. And we'll be coming here from time to time to also to reassure you, to let you know what is going on and where we are. Thank you very much. And good night from here, from the Republic of Ireland. Remain Mazi Isaiuba. Good night. Thank you very much, uh, Mazi Jonathan, and the Deputy Head of the Retreats. Yes. Thank, 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 thank you so much. Um, um, ladies and gentlemen, that was um, 
Manzi Azayoba, of course, uh, our very, very capable and able deputy European rep. Thank you very much for that account and that very rendition. Um, let me, on this same episode, um, by way of extension, um, come up with something um, that was also in my mind. Um, that is the fact that in this very defining moment, um, I just, you know, thought about it, that Ohanese should please uh, try to redefine uh, what their job is, uh, because uh, anybody who is interested in our people, um, in every truth, truth and honesty, should come up and do the needful. Um, we know the role Ohanese played in the past, very, very ugly one for that matter. But meanwhile, I am saying they should try to redefine what their role is because they appear not to uh, really have um, a proper agenda. I will appreciate if they could um, primarily um, encompass the unification of uh, Igbo clan across the board. Um, Igbo Biafrans, uh, we are dubiously carved into different inorganic states like Benue, Kogi, Edo, and uh, ETC, um, etc. Uh, but because they likely uh, constitute the minorities in such states, uh, they have become obviously ever vulnerable. You can take up this project organizer um, and help them acquire the sense of belonging necessary for the overall unity of Indibo as a Biafran clan, as a Biafran clan. Secondly, uh, Ohaneze, go and persuade those who proscribed IPOB, because uh, you know the role you play in that very thing. Go and persuade them to remove that very um, ugly crown that is um, set on the head of indigenous people of Biafra. The so-called prescription must be reversed. We want it reversed. Um, because if you don't want the ugly situation on the ground, that is what you need to do. You have the Fulani, you know, combined, you know, um, military, um, uh, terrorists, uh, Iswat, Boko Haram put together, killing the same people you said they are fighting for their interest. Um, very much innocent people, to 100% innocent people being mowed down and slaughtered. Uh, because when they kill, they say, uh, these are prescribed people. We want you to go and um, repair your damage. We remember in clear reminiscence, uh, the very ugly role played by Ohanese in that very process. And that is why it is um, very, very, very paramount that Ohanese takes these steps uh, very, very seriously, like I said. Fellow Biafrans, uh, uh, do implore and encourage you, just like uh, Amar, as he said, I do implore and encourage you um, also um, all to embark on unmitigated discipline. This is what we need now, discipline and focus. The enemies are going to come, just like our leader said before. And uh, we need those who said to tell us. They are going to continue to test our resolve, uh, but nothing whatsoever can surmount this very IPOB. No matter which canopy under which they may operate, we shall overcome everybody. This you must all believe. We must stand tall and uh, before our enemies. There are numerous Biafrans still illegally incarcerated. We assure them that as a family, we will continue to work hard for the release of these very folks. And no matter what that is going to take us, there are so many folks yet to be discharged. Um, we have been able to uh, free um, so many as possible uh, simultaneously, uh, but uh, many are still at large. Uh, we understand that. We seek, of course, for further patients um, among the families um, to, who, to which these people belong to. Uh, till finally uh, we get each person out of uh, this very extrajudicial incarceration and um, back to their uh, families. Uh, to some of our families who have squabbles 
um, because in IPOB we are very big worldwide. Wherever you have families, there are always going to be misunderstanding. There are going to be squabbles and all that. But if that happens, um, if that happens, please, be, please just follow the chain of command and get the matter resolved um, through your coordinators and so on and so forth. And um, where it doesn't go well, please do refer your problems, your cases to the CRC at IPOB.org. CRC at IPOB.org, all in small letters. Make sure your matters are forwarded for a consideration. CRC will um, prove if such cases do have merits um, for resolutions or not, uh, based on what uh, the circumstances are all about. Um, I think I have, um, of course, also uh, a few uh, names here. Uh, those of them causing troubles in a in a Benin Republic. There are some people, uh, folks who are, are involved in causing commotion. Um, I would like to use this very opportunity to call them to order. Very, very important. Mazi uh, Manuel Okereke Oba in Kotono, you must take precaution right now. Mazi Daniel Mwokiki Obum Neme Mazi Prosper Onyemechi Mazi Mazi Sonny Anya Mazi Oji Ilanya, the self acclaimed regional coordinator, you are not. Um, the earlier you people pull back from this very, very common, you are constituting the better for you. I don't want to come up tomorrow and then you guys will have your names and called out as expelled. This is your final warning. We don't want to hear any of your malpractices, your shenanigans, and your misconduct anymore in our families in Cotonou or in the Republic at large. Discipline is key. If you cannot be disciplined, you will be chalked out and completely ejected. If you don't want that to happen, um, you must fall in line and behave yourself. You have your national coordinator. The national coordinator is the manager of every IPOB family country. The, the, the national coordinator, yes. He primarily does this business of IPOB on the ground and the where necessary, the continental rep steps in. The following names were mentioned in the past, but somehow there are some confusions that um, somehow they are not um, in tune of what um, on what was uh, um, uh, communicated. And that is the fact that Mazi, chief somewhere, Omude, um, who was then announced as the new state coordinator of Osun State's family, um, is once again reaffirmed. Mazi, chief somewhere, Omude, Mazi, Idabara, Ife Chuku, David, as the new deputy coordinator of Osun State, um, you are once again being reaffirmed, uh, Mazi Obioma Fabia Afumuzo or Afumuzo um, as the new state coordinator of Kwara State to replace Mazi Chukuma Ijem. This is also reaffirmed um, to reaffirm the announcement that was made in the past. Mazi Uchen Naduru as the deputy state coordinator of Kwara State. Uh, Mazi Jewel Johnson, if I, if I Chuku, as the new Oyo State Coordinator, he does take over from Mazi Anthony Ndubisi, um, uh, the current uh, state coordinator. Mazi Ndubisi will have something else to do. Um, I will come to that later. Mazi in the first of arm, as the deputy coordinator of Oyo State is once again reaffirmed. Mazi Apostle, just, just, just brilliant, just, just brilliant, I don't know the name, I couldn't get it right, Apostle, 
Josh Brilliant, Chibomba, Emmanuel, Onyuku, as the Deputy West African Representative. Once again, Apostle Chibomba, Emmanuel Onyuku, um, as the Deputy West African Representative. Um, to Anthony Ndubisi, the current Oyo State, who, who is now being replaced, um, his new uh, duty or portfolio becomes um, the Office of the Southwest Region, Office Officer of the Southwest Region of the, uh, so in fact, official, uh, Information Officer. You become the Information Officer as um, as was mentioned of the Southwest region. Um, that is announcement I have to that effect. Otherwise, we are friends uh, worldwide. I want to thank you for listenership. I want to thank you for your tenacity. We are all in this together. Um, we must continue to remain brothers keepers. Um, it doesn't matter whether you're from Ibibio, it doesn't matter whether you're from Idoma, it doesn't matter whether you're from Igala, it doesn't matter whether you're from Ido, it doesn't matter if you are a jaw, if you have pains, it pains me, it pains every Biafra. If you have a headache, it, it, it pains every Biafra. We all share the same headache. And that is why we must work together and ignore all fecklessness and the shenanigans and charlatans. We must ignore them. Those of them who wants to who want to come up to kill, to sow seeds of discord, to dis destroy lives and properties. We say no to that. Against our enemies, we join together and stand together and fight together, so that at the end we shall overcome. And that is why on this radio, Biafra is where we worship, and that. Chukotkabiam is indeed our God. And I will always ask you to always tune in on to Radio Biafra and let us worship together and preach together and understand together and learn, learn together, above all, learn together so that um, at the end we shall together overcome and um, rejoice in, vic in victory. Thank you so much. Mazi, um, I can't thank you enough um, for your time, for your professionality, for your endurance, for your perseverance, and you continue to do so. The posterity will be kind to you, Mazi, Jonathan. Continue to do what you're doing. All the media warriors, you are so wonderful, and you will continue to do what you're doing. Chukwa Biyama will be by your side. Um, we pray for our leader continuously. Do not uh, relent. We will continue to pray for our leader. The same Chukwu Abiyama who asked him to come is going to see him through. Remain encouraged and thank you so much and good night from here. Ndewo. Ndewo Maze, our Deputy HOD with Maze. Isaiah Dear friends and lovers of freedom, thank you for listening on today's emergency broadcast. Biafra is our religion. There are many colors and I apologize because I couldn't take all. Uh, you know it. Some people called many times, but unfortunately, one person has to speak at a time. Therefore, we continue without relenting. We don't even contemplate on going back because we have no back to go to. Biafra is our religion. Biafra is our identity. Because before we had no identity, we were going on fake identity of Nigeria until we found out that Nigeria is not our identity. That is why we have gone back to our roots. That is Biafra. Thank you for listening. And from me, Miles Jonathan, from here, it is simply good evening.